going on everyone welcome back mitchell phillips here with another live stream on forza horizon 4 today we're going to be doing a ton of rally racing i'm thinking about spending time at both the mainland as well as fortune island because fortune island has some awesome rally tracks what's going on juan gi rian riangelo gaming tim 973 lewis parsons real skin gamer jacob me uh Jacob Meme, Luke Keegan, Kyle, Keith Ball, what's up everyone, welcome back to the stream, guys, welcome back to the channel, appreciate the support, uh, let me start off in the mainland though, I want to make sure everyone's able to actually get in, if you guys want to join, send me a message, I actually am not appearing online yet, so I gotta appear online quick for you guys, yes, travel, I'm at school right now, true, have a good day man, <laughs> Make sure my stream doesn't interfere with your studies. That guy, Alex, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Javier, yo, Mitch, I'm back. My phone got ran over. How the hell did that happen? I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, let me appear online for you guys. What's up, Krista? Josh Screevens. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. I'm literally sat in front of you in your lobby. Really? Oh wow, well I just left, but that was kind of cool. What are the chances? Jamal Rose, what's up, man? How are you, bro? Burning Spear Gaming, good to see you. Ricky Rodriguez, welcome, welcome, Gee, Thank you for being MVP, man, really appreciate it. If you guys are interested, I should have a link in the description for uh, becoming an MVP. But it's five bucks a month. I don't care. Well, why am I all blurry? I'm barely moving. Damn. All right, let me appear online quick. New month. Yeah, yeah, everything has been reset. So if you guys are in here, today is day one of January, basically, because I didn't stream yesterday. So if you want to get ahead and fuel, if you want to get ahead and watch time, today is the day to do it. All right, I'm appearing online now, guys. If you want to join up, you should be able to. Yeah, I'm online currently. I'm just gonna start to send invites out. Let's do it. Let's fill up this lobby. I don't know what we should start things off with. I'm thinking about possibly skin. Maybe we'll do some more of your custom routes because skin has some excellent custom rally stages that I would definitely love to do. Plus it just makes it easier for me when someone else is choosing the races from time to time. Auto Gamer 777, what's up man? Welcome to the stream. Milo, wow, do I, how do you join? Uh, add me as a friend, send me a message, and we'll try to get you in here. Unknown Scythe, welcome back to the stream. Good to get you in today. Honda Civic GRC, is that what you're taking out, Gee? Why don't you do, why don't you do my custom rally rep? Yeah, we might be able to, Gee. I don't think we've done it before. I'm early, yeah, guys, this is the early bird squad. If you guys are just popping in, stream just started. Haven't done a single race yet. Just getting this lobby filled up. My 2019 purpose, get, guess it, Guy. Your 2019 purpose. Is that another word for like your goals of 2019? Did any of you set New Year's resolutions? You guys about that? I'm not necessarily about New Year's resolutions, but I am about setting goals frequently. I think it's important. What's up, Avir? Welcome back to the stream, man. I'm getting in the... I'm not getting in the lobby. If you send me a message, you should get in. There's not too many. Well, there's a few of you. We'll see. I'm sending invites out. Muhammad Ryan, what's up, bro? Welcome back to the stream. Auto Gaming says you're my favorite YouTuber, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. How do you get that? Get what? What's up? DM Wiggy. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I don't have a New Year's resolution. True. Fair enough. I like, I don't think I've ever fully kept a New Year's, I, if I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever fully kept my New Year's resolutions, at least to the level that I set them at, you know? <laughs> You're my favorite user, thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Happy New Year, happy New Year's to you guys, man. Why is no one able to get in? I must have this set to private. If you guys were trying to get in and it wasn't letting you, it's, it's about to. Yeah. Damn it. All right, join up, on, join up now, guys. It should work. Sorry about that. Did you get my message? No. Put it back in the chat for me. 
unless you sent it through social media. I, I answered all my Instagram messages, all my Discord messages, so I would have if you sent it anywhere else. My New Year's resolution is to play Forza Horizon 4 more. Nice. I don't think you'll have any problem maintaining that one. <laughs> Especially when with all the new content that's still on the way. I'm pumped, man. That's your New Year's resolution. Nice one. Hey, you could easily, easily attain that by New Year's. I believe in you. <laughs> what the hell? Beer is two months and I'm not yet. He became a sponsor on the same day as me. He's... Did you... Really? Are you sure? I don't know. That's weird. If you unsponsor and then re-sponsor, that will happen, though. It will reset you. That's happened to a few people. I know Aaron Hayam unsponsored one month, then he re-sponsored, so... He lost his, like, uh... His time thing. Little emoji. <laughs> Are we... We're not full yet? Oh, my goodness. Costly Racer. Hello, may I join? Hell yeah, bro. Actually, please join. <laughs> We're having trouble filling the lobby today. Will you do a Clash of Clans series? Ah, that seems like it would fit in with the channel. Definitely. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I'm joking. We're not doing that, no. But I do actually play Clash of Clans. Or no, not... No, Clash Royale. From time to time. I used to play it a lot in the past. My New Year's resolution is to hold a job for a whole year, make a bunch of money, and get my own apartment. Nice, man. Good luck with that. Why is no one able to get in? Why? <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? Damn. <laughs> Do you like my veneno? Yeah, you know, it looks amazing. I, I got this great view of it right now. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Look at those letters. That's a nice veneno, man. I like that spec. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> I'll check it out after. What's up, Wolfzig? Frosty teacher, let's get you up in here. I start 2019 horribly. You don't even want to know. Well, do you not want to share? Because, hey, I think we all want to know. <laughs> I hope the rest of your 2019 goes better, man. Who ate grapes two days ago like a pig? Because I did. Is there something about grapes directly correlating with your New Year's resolutions? What's going on? Mixer, damn Pearson, Normie. How do I even join? Exclamation mark GT, Z Dog. Exclamation mark GT. There you go. I means a friend, send me a message. We'll get you in that way. Cryptic Nautic. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the family. It's good to have you, bro. It's really good to have you. Happy freaking New Year. So, yeah, is there a correlation with grapes and New Year's resolutions? Because. I was at a dinner and they gave us 12 grapes and they're like, oh, make a wish every time you eat a grape. And I was like, I've never done this before. And it was actually more difficult than I thought. I got to like down to eight and I was just like, damn, I don't know what else to, you, you have a limited supply, you know, you want to wish for important things. Not that I think it holds any, like, I don't think it has the slightest impact on if they come true or not. but. You know, I was still participating. Anyways, you guys know anything about that? I'm ready for a long story. Oh, I can I can come up with a story at some point. Bossler is selling for 20 mil credits. What the hell? If you guys didn't know, every single person gets the Mosler for free. So I'm actually surprised it's so expensive, if I'm being honest. I have two of them now. <laughs> it's a Spanish tradition. That's probably why my girlfriend's Spanish. For each month. Oh, okay. Yeah, her whole family's Spanish, so it's a big Spanish thing. Actually, she's her family's from Argentina. The family we were seeing was from Colombia, but they're like family friends, you know? Anyways, girl problems, one. Oh. New Year's? Oh, no. Did she pull the New Year's on you? No. That sucks. He, please tell me. You didn't get dumped on January 1st. That's a scumbag move. Because then you just know she was waiting. Like, she planned it. Like, just do it. Like, don't wait till January 1st, you ass. 
Oh, man. Damon, can I join? Yeah, you guys are all free to join. You can, yep, arrow smash. We are like millimeters away from filling the lobby. And once we get to like 11, someone's like, ah, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's actually playground kicking them out, but. Gee, if that happened, bro, I'm so sorry. That's, that's just, that's scummy, man. It was with your girl, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. M Mitch, check your gifted messages. Yeah, I got it. I already got it, man. I've, I've been playing on my own. Why don't we have 12? I had to send out a trillion invites to fill up a lobby. We had like 11 at one point, and now I'm sending invites out and nothing is happening. We just stay at, stay at 10 the whole time. Damn. Just make the lobby 10 then. At least it'll be a little bit more satisfying. Unknown Scythe, you in? You're in. All right, cool, cool, cool. Fine, fine. You want to mess with us right now? All right, Playground. All right, I got you. Don't worry. Are you streaming tomorrow? Yes, I'll be on tomorrow. All right, we'll see. We'll see if you want to stay at 10 after this. Okay? All right, we're up to 11. Watch, we're going to fill up now. We're going to scare Playground into allowing you guys in the lobby. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> right when I get to the last person. <laughs> this is so overkill. I don't, I don't care though, it needs to be done. Yeah, they're playing Fortnite, screw you. Get off of Fortnite. <laughs> Why do you know, Mitch? I might be getting back with my ex from last year. I do remember him here. Actually, recently, uh, my girlfriend asked me, she's like, oh, does it be like have a girlfriend or whatever? And I was like, no, they broke up like so long ago. But that's, that's good, I guess. Just don't let her, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know you guys' relationship, but I th you you shared it with the chat before, so I'm assuming it's open knowledge. She broke up with you. Just like make sure it's not one of those. I've been in those situations before. There was there was a girl <laughs> in high school that uh, that I was into, and it was I was like first I was a thi we were just a thing. And then, uh, and then she ended the thing for this other dude. This, like, chubby kid who was a year younger than me. I'm like, what the hell? Like, really? Anyways, <laughs> fair enough. Fast forward, I get, like, a different girlfriend. You know, I do my own thing. She's, like, I had, at the time, I had a big crush on her. So she's, like, all over me, corrupting my mind while I'm with someone else. I'm not gonna lie, she influenced my decision to break up with that person. But I was having issues with that person regardless of what was going on with me and her. Like, actually, let me just tell you about the person. So I was dating another person who lived three hours away, uh, close to Detroit, actually across from Detroit. And uh, she was the s incredibly intelligent. She was smarter than me when it came to, came to like marks and stuff like that. She was just really pretty. And she was this Italian girl. Anyways, she got a little obsessed to the point where it was a little bit creepy. For example, for an art project, she made a sculpture of my head. <laughs> she made a sculpture of my head. And it, it, that's not the worst part. That was, I wasn't planning to break up with her over that. Um, it got really bad. I came down, like I always do. I come down for like a week or whatever. Uh, and where's my where's my race I want to do? I think it's... I think it's this one? Could be that one. Yeah. Gotta be this one. Uh, so... <laughs> oh yeah, you think that's weird. Just wait a second. Wait a second. So I'm, I'm there at her house now. I only see her, it's like, maybe once a month, once every two months for like a week or a few days, whatever it may be. And we're hanging out, and she she's very she was very small, like she was a very small smallest girl I've ever dated. So safe to say, she was a big lightweight when it came to alcohol. She had like half a glass of wine, and she was she was drunk. She proceeds to start licking the wet clay, unfinished sculpture of my head, licking it. It's wet clay, like the clay is on her face and her tongue. <laughs> And I'm just 
Oh. <laughs> I had, uh, that, that's just like to give you an overall picture of why I was uncomfortable. It, I didn't break up with her because of that one thing, but that was just like the overall situation. So when this ex who I had a big crush on was like talking to me, like she was she was a, a, a home wrecker basically. This is what I'm getting at, Javier. Ultimately, the girl who I left this crazy girl for was was just problematic. And again, I'm saying I don't know your situation, but I hope it's not the same situation. She knew I was with this other girl, and she was just like messing with me. And I ended up breaking up with the other girl. I got together with her, which I feel horrible about because I really hurt the other girl. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't like to like hurt anyone. I'm not out here to make people all depressed and shit. But anyways, that happened. We were together for, we were like a thing for a while. And then we were like together for three or four months or something. Um, she, she broke up with me again. So she ended a thing before, she broke up with me again then. And I was like, it's fine. I don't know, I'm just like that. Like, I move on pretty easily. I'm just like, oh yeah, no, it's cool, whatever. And she's like, oh, you don't care. And then she's like, right back to going after me. So it was just like this cycle where she liked the chase, but she didn't actually want to stay, you know? Long story short, hopefully that isn't you of here. What's up, PTR Gaming? Welcome. Just be careful with it, that's all I'm saying. Because, holy sh that was a big mistake. Big mistake. Women come and go, my friend, just like a pair of socks. Not this, not this one. We, we, our third year anniversary was December 15th. We're doing pretty well. <laughs> but, uh, it, or before, definitely. <laughs> Ahmad is like a secretary of the YouTuber. Ahmad is like a secretary of the YouTuber. I would say a moderator is like a community manager. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't, a secretary you like delegate tasks to, community manager you could too. A mod basically is just a peacekeeper with a very, very small rule book. You know, it's a free job that you don't get paid for, so I try to keep the responsibilities to a minimum. Rockets Gaming, what's up? I joined at the wrong time. Oh, why, well, you're not feeling the conversation? <laughs> It's a little bit uncomfortable. Fuck a lot. Hiddish, yo, I got the Mosler. Nice, man. Everyone gets the Mosler for free. If you guys didn't know, check your uh, check your messages. Everyone should have got one for free. I think Playground just realized their uh, their event was too difficult for a lot of people to complete and gave it to everyone for free. What's going on, Bladat Bladata? <laughs> Something like that. Thank you for subbing, bro. If you guys are on Mixer, one second. Mixer chat disappeared on me and I didn't realize. So I'll have that back open in a second. After this race, actually, to be exact. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. I haven't done any rally racing for a while. It's going to be back on the gravel and the dirt. Oh, God. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> a little rusty there. What's up, old fox? Oh, God. We got this. Hey, third place. Not bad, not bad. Break. So, I actually decided to do this because I was thinking about doing uh, the like prep for the 100 lap Leviathan. But I think we're gonna wait until we get more into a rhythm. Once we've streamed every day for a couple weeks and we're back into the swing of things, then I'm gonna do the 100 lap Leviathan for a couple reasons. One, I have this, like, I think maybe everyone's like this. People don't really like change, but it's kind of inevitable. So with, like, the holidays, it takes me out of my rhythm, you know? It became very difficult to stream, and then you don't stream for a couple days. It makes it easier not to stream for a third day. And it's just, I, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things before I throw something on my plate, like a 100-lap Leviathan because that is going to be tough to get through. So yeah, just, I wanna get back into a rhythm first and then we'll have the 100 lap Leviathan later. But that's why I thought, I was like, you know what, we'll just do a rally themed live stream. Because I did wanna race, I didn't wanna do some dirt racing. I just didn't want to do it for 12 hours. 
Oh god. Yo! Hey! What the hell are you doing? Where where are you going? All of a sudden my car just became very impossible to control instantaneously. What's up, Harry Woolens? Welcome to the stream, bro. Rally 4 GT. That's kinda epic, man. That's pretty damn sick. Oh god. Come on. Here, let me focus a little bit. Clean up this racing. There we go. Gotta take out the cobblestones. Clip that AP Okay, that's not what I meant. Jeez. You're pushing it too far now. Oh, break. Woo! Excuse me. I just saw the video. I didn't have time to watch it. The 2019 Toyota GT86 like TDR or something like that. The, the title of the video was the uh, BRZ STI we've always wanted. If you guys know anything, the BRZ is my favorite car at its price point. My favorite affordable sports car and uh, like very affordable sports car. I'm not like considering used R GTRs or you know, th that's anyways. <laughs> The big complaint everyone always had was the power, right? And then they made the Subaru BRZ TS, which didn't have any changes in terms of power. In fact, Subaru, I mean, STI didn't even tune the engine or anything. All they did was tune the suspension and, like, you add some aero bits and stuff like that. So people were disappointed because everyone wants more power in the BRZ. A video I just saw was titled... Toyota 86 TD something like a, a higher spec or a special Toyota 86 model that possibly has more power, at least based on what I saw from the title. So I'm really antsy to watch that video. Although the new Toyota 60, the new Toyota 86 body style, I don't like as much at all. I don't like the change they made to the front end. What do you guys think? Do you guys know about it? Also, what do you guys think about the platform in general, the GT86 platform? I'm, in, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> you can tell by my banner. I didn't even realize until a couple days ago, my banner has seven BRZs on it. <laughs> what the hell? How'd that happen? But the only way you can see all seven of them is if you're looking at it on uh, desktop. Oops. Damn it, missing checkpoints. Watch it in stream. What's up, Cameron Holmes? How are you, Cameron? See if we can get back up in a second before this race finishes. The end of this track is, I think, a little bit challenging. So, see if we can capitalize on someone else's mistakes. Oh, God. Bro, bro, that's not gonna fly. Oh no, <laughs> Jamal, slow down for me. At least let me keep the podium spot. Okay, I gotta be careful, there's a little jump here. A little unexpected jump. Come on! I literally knew it was coming and everything. I'm in fifth place. You gotta be kidding. What's up, Jack? Hey. Where are you going? Okay. Alright. Text me. Have fun. Alright. Love you. Alright, nerds. So you think you can steal my precious fourth place position? Oh, I didn't use the custom route. I have a custom route of this track. No, maybe I did. No, this is the custom route. Never mind. That's why it's so long. No! Stop missing checkpoints! I'm so rusty today, bro. <laughs> Damn, what's up, McDo? Welcome to the stream. Our, our keck, no GTA 6. When GTA 6 comes out, I'm definitely buying it. I had a lot of fun on GTA 5 when I had an Xbox. I'm on PC right now, if you guys are new and wondering what I mean by that. But yeah, uh... GTA was a lot of fun when it first dropped. I don't know, like, it might still be good now. My Xbox stopped working, and I uh, moved on. 
Marcio, how do I say this? Marcio Gonsalves Garcia Gonsalves. What's up, man? I probably said that wrong, but welcome. Good to have you. In fact, I think I've struggled with your name before, so welcome back. Are you on Fortune Island, by the way? No, I'm not on Fortune Island right now. Happy New Year, Jack Deering. Hope you have a great year. Hope you all have a great year. Bye, drive safe. Okay. Race one in the bag. It was going all right for a little bit, and then we missed like three or four checkpoints. Just completely lost it at the end. Uh, it's not, she broke up with me because I did a few things that was bad, but I know, and I've learned from my lessons, I know what to do. That's good, Avir, that's good. That's good. You know something that people don't talk about that I think is really true? This is gonna be controversial, but we're gonna talk about it anyways, because, whatever. And also, you guys know I always try to be real with you guys. Just like about my beliefs, my opinions, I don't... Now, I don't fully accept any belief as, like, 100% it's true. I'm always open-minded to other things. But I think... I think sometimes, guys, overall, on average, we might be too nice to women. <laughs> it, when it comes to attracting... A, well, not not a, a friend that you're... Not a girl that you're friends with. But in terms of a girl that you're interested in... I don't think girls like when you're super nice to them. You don't have to be mean to them. It's not what I'm saying. But when you're super nice and just like fulfilling their wishes in in every way and just like listening to everything they tell you to do, they're just, I don't think they're attracted to that. Like I feel like that's how you get put in the friend zone. And I feel like everyone does that. Like there's a big push on being overly nice in that way but it just gets you in the friend zone really like honestly i've noticed throughout high school and everything girls and i never did it intentionally to make them attracted to me girls loved when i was mad at them if i was angry with a girl for some reason she enjoyed it it was i don't get it you ever get into a fight with a girl and then they're like interested in you after because of it and you're, you're just sitting there kind of confused? I got the one girl I was telling you guys about who just like messed with me throughout all of high school. Kind of like she loved the chase, but then once the chase was over, she didn't really want to be in a relationship. Um, that girl, for example, at one point, like we got we got into it. It got heated. She was also kind of messed up. <laughs> she was really messed up. There was, uh, let me give you some context before I tell you about the fight. But, okay, this one time, right? She, break, she broke up with me. This was the only time she officially broke up with me because the other times we were just like a thing and it just like faded out, right? So she breaks up with me. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Like, you know, do whatever makes you happy. It's fine. She's like, she was pissed at me because she's like, you're not even mad? Like, she wanted me to be mad. I'm like, why am I gonna, like, guilt you into staying with me? It's fine. Like, besides, we're in high school. Like, I'm going to university. I I didn't really expect anything long term. Regardless, we break up. She's salty because I'm not showing that I'm upset. I was upset, but I'm not showing that I'm upset because I'm not gonna guilt her into it. So, a, a few days go by. She messages me, and she's like, this guy just like beat me up. Um, she's like freaking out and stuff in the middle of the night. I'm like, what the hell happened? I still care about this girl. So I'm like trying to help her. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, who was it? Like what happened? And then she just like cut me off. She just stopped talking to me. What's that? Let's do another rally stage here. She just, she just stopped responding. She didn't answer her phone, nothing. So I, I had been dating her for a few months. I knew her family. I wasn't in contact with her parents but I had her sister on Facebook. So I messaged her older sister, and I was like, um, uh, I'm not gonna say her name, just in case, I don't know. But I was like, oh, like, your sister just told me she got beat up, make sure she's okay, she's not telling me anything. So I said this, this is, I'm not like giving you guys a biased version of what happened, this is exactly what happened. She comes back the next day, and is like, 
why would you tell my sister? I hope you die. I'm gonna get guys I know to come beat you up. <laughs> Like she was going in for like an hour straight. She just sent me novels about how she was gonna get all these guys She knew to jump me and all this stuff literally be because I told her sister to make sure if she was okay and told her anyways So that just gives you kind of context of the person. I guess she was um Yeah, I don't know why I got involved in that situation. That was it's really weird. So after that I had no like very little respect left for it. By the way, the whole time that went on, I actually was very professional about the whole thing. I never, like, argued back with her. I never fought because I was still in that state where I was like, I, apparently she just got beat up by some guy. Like, I kind of felt bad for her. So I was just, like, trying to understand and wrap my head around all of, like, the hatred she was sending my way. Never fought back with her at that point. But later, she, like, shows up at my door with this big long letter trying to get me back. Like, front and back are two pages. I was actually, I had a thing with the girl I'm with now at the time. Never told her because she would be livid. I, of course, I didn't do anything wrong, but I just, I, I figured best to just throw this out, pretend it never happened. And we were just like a thing at the time, so it wasn't really necessarily a big deal anyways. Um, so, she, I don't respond. She starts trying to contact me like crazy. I can't remember. Eventually, she got in contact with me, and I was just not nice to her at all. Like, at that point, you, you tell me, I hope you die. I'm going to get people to beat you up because I was worried about your safety. I don't have any respect for you left. So she's, like, trying to get back with me, and I'm literally just being so rude. It's It was pretty bad. I've never been that rude to anyone else. And I wasn't, I wasn't at her level like threatening her or anything like that. But I was very rude. She, that clearly, it was very obvious. That made her freaking want me with like a passion. Like she was committed at that point to get me back. It was really weird how that worked. That's kind of when I realized, I think girls sometimes like when you're mean, not because they like being treated poorly, but because you're like being a strong male in that moment. And like, you're controlling the situation. And they're attracted to that shit. It's just the truth. I'm gonna say the N-word, Nutella. <laughs> What's up, Southern Board? Good to have you. Welcome to the stream. You know, say hello to me. What's up, Barack Obama? Welcome to the stream. So long story short, it might be a, a weird topic to get into, but I feel like girls like when you don't like put up with their shit, when you're just like maybe a little rude from time to time. Like they might act upset, but then low key, like they think it's hot. And that's just, that's just like where it clicked for me. But there's constantly, you guys know, if you're, you're, who's the most popular guy? Who gets the most girls in your school? He's not that nice to women. You, you all know it, you all see it. The person who's super nice to women gets no girls. But then again, like if you're just friends, if you're wanting to be in the friend zone with a girl, then you should, yeah, you can be really nice to her, that's fine. Because she doesn't look at you in that way. But I feel like, yeah, girls, when they want a guy, they want a guy who's like, not scared to be confrontational and like, I don't know, that's just the feeling I get. And it just makes sense, right? I mean, let's be honest, we kind of want the opposite as men. Like, we want a girl who's very feminine, someone that we can feel like it's like our duty to take care of and like keep safe. And they want the opposite. It just makes sense. I don't even know why I got into telling you guys about that, but <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Somehow we're in first place too. I'm never in first place when I'm telling stories. When I tell stories, I miss checkpoints. I don't know what's going on today. What's up, Reggie? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for subscribing. Good to have you. Anyways, pro tip for you guys, because I feel like naturally everyone thinks to get a girl, I gotta be super nice to her. Honestly, I think you gotta like show her your dominance. Straight up. Not, not necessarily like insulting her, I'm just saying, 
whatever way it is, you gotta show her your dominance, basically. It always works. You wouldn't believe how many girls <laughs> would go No, I didn't get a lot of girls, that's not what I'm saying, but how many of the girls that did go after me, I didn't get a lot of girls because I was like super quiet and shy. But I was like a big gym rat in high school. Just from like being in the gym, girls walk by, I see them looking in the window. Next thing you know, they're like literally getting my phone number and calling me and stuff. Girls just want you to like be a man. No matter what society tells you about all uh, like these like male roles are forced upon us by society and we need to like abolish the the male role and stuff like that. Girls still like that shit. Regardless. OG, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, God. Actually, don't tell the girl I'm with now. <laughs> don't tell her. Okay, she's not here, so we can talk about this. And she's driving, so she's definitely not watching. When we were a thing... I was, I actually, I had broken up with the girl I was telling you about earlier, and I had a big crush on her, so overall, I was not, like, I wasn't fully over her, and I wasn't ready for, like, a committed relationship, so I was just in, like, I was just kind of having fun, right, with the girl I'm with now, who, it isn't the case anymore, of course, I'm very committed and everything, but back then, that's where I was at, and literally, I would do stuff, like, she would tell me about some of the stuff I do now, and I'm like, holy crap, like, why did you stay with me? Like, I just don't get it. I can't remember everything, but one example that comes to mind is we, we had a thing before one of my football games. We already had a thing at this point, right? Before one of my football games, um, I just, like, didn't want her to, like, get too close to me because I wasn't ready. So I gave my football jacket to another girl, and I told her, I was like, Oh, like, this other girl asked me for my jacket. I hope you don't mind. Like, she's, she was coming to my game. She didn't even go to STM anymore. She went to a university. It was my last year of high school. She came to the game while another girl was wearing my jacket, and she came to watch me. That's so rude. Like, that's not nice at all. And I did that. And she stayed with me. In fact, she fell in love with me, bro. I don't... I don't understand women. I mean, I kind of get it to a degree, but it's surprising. TP, what's up, bro? That's just one example. I can't think of a lot of the things I did. There was a lot more than just that. I remember she came to a party with me, and I kind of just left her. Like, I kind of just left her and started talking to other people. I talked to a couple other girls. I don't know if she noticed. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm like, and I don't even remember a lot of the stories because she tells me stuff and I'm like, what? I did that and you still stayed with me? What the hell? <laughs> What's up, Jonathan Moore? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. NASCAR Tactics Series. Welcome, welcome. Did I win that? I won that race. It was a close finish, though. That whole race was autopilot. I feel like someone was right behind me at the end. <laughs> New lesson today. <laughs> Honestly, it's just again. I don't think it's that you have to be rude to women at all, but I think it's just you need to like You need to show Dominance in some areas and they just love that. I don't know If you and you can't care too much if you come out desperate Then yeah, you're it's over sober before it began She sounds like a winner fam. She, oh, she's amazing, bro. She's such a great cook and like, she's, we have like similar kind of political views, which I think is really important, right? I think it's, I, not a lot of people talk about that, but I think it's super important to be with a girl who agrees with you politically. A lot of you might be pretty young, so you're not really into it yet, but like, I'm, imagine if you're older, you'll understand. And for me, like, I'm definitely not SJW. I'm pretty far from that. I think a lot of the SJW stuff has gone way too far, right? I'm a, I'm a very open-minded person, but when it comes to like 
I won't even get into it. But if I was dating a girl who was super like feminist SJW, oh my god. First of all, I don't think it would get to that point because we would just fight it out way too much. But I think it's important to be with someone who like shares similar political values with you. She doesn't even she doesn't even share the same political values necessarily. She's just pretty open-minded as well. We can have discussions basically. She like listens, so it just I don't know. We work out nice. We go pretty nice. Next event. Actually, let's do infected. We did two rally races. We'll come back and do a couple after this. And the thing is, my ex, she's part Spanish and a Latina. Yeah, yeah, if they're Spanish, that's... Oh, a La Latina means Latin America or something? Maybe Latina is an overused word. Anyways. Cool, have you? We're, uh... <laughs> we have girlfriends of the same ethnicity. <laughs> Basically related now. Thanks, Krista. What's up, Krista Fusion? Hey, Mitch, what's the livery you're using? I don't know who made it, but it's pretty dope. Oh, let me get a full group in here. That's what I wanted to do. Guys, if you want to get in, add me as a friend, send me a message, and we'll get you guys in here. What Basher, what a name. He's in here already. <laughs> Latina means girl from Latin America. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But people now kind of just use it for all... If you're a Spanish woman, you're just Latina. Not not everyone, obviously. I'm sure you get what I mean. I'm half Mexican, half American. Cool, man. Cool. I am half Caribbean, half European, but born in Canada. But those are like where my families come from. And then if you go for like Caribbean's pretty new overall. So like Actually, Barbados is Barbados is where my my Caribbean side is from. Barbados is like I think might be the oldest island. Like they had slaves on that island before any of the other islands had slaves. I and I think they were like the first one colonized by Britain. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's a pretty old island actually. Who knows? Maybe my Britain side is from Barbados. I don't even I don't even know to be honest. It's like my mom's side, and I wasn't in contact with my mom for like years. I remember the first day I saw my mom, it was been like, it'd been like 11 years or something. Like I didn't see her basically at all from like four years old until high school, grade nine. High school, grade nine. So I'm the, no, grade 10. I'm the quarterback for the football team, and I'm a terrible quarterback. First year ever playing quarterback, I don't know what the coach was thinking, Puts me in a quarterback. I throw three interceptions. <laughs> we lose the game. And uh, I was like pissed. But I wasn't like a baby about it. But I get in the locker room and I'm like crying. And everyone thought I was crying because we lost the game. But I was crying because my mom like came to the game and we like hugged and it had been like 10 years and shit. Um, so yeah, everyone on my team thought I was a big baby. <laughs> that was funny. Slide back in your DMs, Mitch. You're gonna want to see all that. What? You DM'd me? Mitch, have you seen a beer in real life? He's tall like Shaq, skinny as DC Young Fly. I don't know how tall he is. I've seen pictures of a beer in real life, though. Tall like Shaq. I don't know about that. How tall are you, a beer? Latin America means all Central and South American countries. Except Brazil, where they speak Portuguese. Fair enough. You know what's really interesting I was learning about? Is how much German people live in South America. And almost all of them... Yeah, Ricky, it's coming from you. Definitely don't believe it. <laughs> almost all of them are descendants, apparently, from what I've learned. I'm open-minded, I could be wrong, but this is just what I learned. Descendants of high-ranking SS Nazi officers who escaped to South America, primarily Argentina. That's pretty crazy. That's a little bit scary. Because those are, those are like high-ranking guys. I feel like they probably had a pretty strong influence on their children. Their children are like 50 years old, 60 years old, oldest right now. No, younger than that. I don't even know how old they are, but they're 
I just feel like that's kind of scary. I don't know. <laughs> kind of makes me un... Puts me off ease. If you have a green screen, why have a face cam overlay? Yeah, it's it's a weird... It's a weird setup. I don't, uh... I don't disagree. I don't know why I... You know what it is. I would use this without the green screen if I had, like, some cool stuff in the background. But I don't have anything cool in the background. So I just use this. But then, this was, like, preset on here. I'm thinking about maybe cutting off the two side walls and the... We'll call it the roof. <laughs> the top thing. And maybe just leaving the bottom part there. I've been thinking about that, but I don't even know if I'm able to do that necessarily. What's going on? Mixer, Aero Smash, Humble Go, and Killer. Thank you guys for following. By the way, your Mitchell... T your Mixer title... Ah, damn, Mixer titles, man. Why do I keep messing that up? Thank you for letting me know, Crucial Sheep. I'll fix it. Uh, actually, after this. I'll fix it after this. Mitch, I'm mostly Spanish, but I live in Mexico. Fair enough. I thought, I thought like, when I found out my family was from Barbados, I was like, oh, you know, maybe we speak Spanish or something. No, we just speak English. Because it was colonized by British people. It's actually probably the whitest island and out of all the Caribbean. So yeah, I'm just English and English on both sides. Maybe that's why I'm so bad at learning other languages. Is this stream lagging for you guys? But... Hopefully that smooths it out. Let me know if the stream's lagging for you guys. Oh, click on the screen. Go. Go. Go, man. Thank you. <laughs> How do I join? If you guys want to join, add me as a friend. Send me a message. We'll try to get you in here. We cast. Welcome to the stream. Exclamation mark GT in the chat should hook you guys up. Mitch, why did I get a monster as a gift? Everyone got it as a gift. I think probably a lot of people were like complaining that it was really hard to get. I know we spent a whole stream just trying to help people get it. And like a lot of people wanted our help to like try to get the car. So I think a lot of people were just struggling and Playground Games decided to give it out for free. Stream's fine. Okay, good to hear. It's just really fast, 5.0. Oh, I missed it. 5.0 on Insta, been back and forth for a couple days. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Good luck, butt basher. Good freaking luck, bro. So, what I've taught everyone today is be mean to women. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's a horrible lesson to take away from this stream. The people who just popped in are like, what the hell is this guy talking about? No, don't be mean to women. It's a joke it's not what I'm teaching <laughs> because the great grandpa was Fred Shea oh and that there's a lot of uh, Nazi descendants in South America I wonder if any of you guys have ever heard about that I know about it Al Jazz welcome oh god are you on PlayStation hell yeah bro PlayStation 4 Pro it's rewind time. <laughs> the reason why everyone is struggling was because they never put effort. They had the wrong difficulty settings. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. Oh, the Funko. We almost got you. Almost. I don't think I'm catching him. I can't remember how much horsepower he has. But I'm pretty sure it has a little bit more horsepower than this. Dugs, I, I kind of want to buy a new rally car today. What do you guys recommend? Maybe we should get a WRX STI. We don't have the WRX rally car yet. We, have, we do have a WRX STI. We have the Impreza WRX STI as well. The hatch. But we don't have the official... Like, rally car. Hello, Gums. Oh, damn, I got so close. Read my comment. Mitch is totally on PS4. I know. I want you to, oh, God. <laughs> to know I logically didn't get cheated on. It's a long story. You logically didn't get cheated on. All right. 
For all I know, I might have got cheated on. I never cared enough to, like, make sure I wasn't getting cheated. I, I, I don't know why I'm like that, but I've never been the type to, like, want to check your girl's phone. Even, even if something happened that was suspicious, I would just be like, okay, like, if I find out you're cheating on me, then we'll just break. I literally said that to my girlfriend once. I feel like everyone has that conversation at some point. I was literally like, no, like, if you cheat on me, like, I'm just gonna break up with you. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. I just don't get mad. I don't like, it's hard to explain. It, it really is. But, uh, my, the one girl I dated, I definitely believe could have cheated on me. I just didn't care to find out. Probably because she was kind of a slut. I mean, excuse my language, but it's just, it was just true. I'm not sure why I felt like dating her. <laughs> Try the Opel Monto 400. Yeah, actually, that's a really good rally car in this game. I'm freaking dying. <laughs> well, as long as you're having a good time, man. <laughs> Did we get Gugs? I got so close to getting him earlier. Throwback to when I was like a foot away from him. And we just missed him. If only we got him then. He wouldn't be running around now. Boom! Let's go. Three, we have three Rodriguez's in here. Ricky, you're a fake Rodriguez though, man. <laughs> Voltex, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Yeah, that was that was so weird. Like, just to put it into perspective, I'm not just like saying this because I didn't get along with her. It was just like kind of common knowledge. But for some reason, I still liked it. Literally, before we got together, it was before we had a thing. I think it was it was grade ten, and she had already been with like five dudes. Like, that's, that was pretty bad. I don't know, that's pretty bad for my school. You know, grade 10, you already been with five guys. That's pretty damn bad. I had been with uh, zero, I believe. Well, you know, it depends. Depends how you look at it. <laughs> Going Gamer 2006 to Tinos. This is a, I can already tell this is a bad stream. This, this is a really bad stream. Thank you, Max. Thank you for letting us all know. <laughs> this is a bad stream because I feel like, like just being personal. That's always dangerous. It's always incredibly dangerous. Uh, where are we going here? Uh, we'll do the gauntlet. Nah, gauntlet's too long. Let me do something short. I'm gonna take out the Honda Civic Coupe GRC. Cause why not? And I have to change the title on. Uh, I almost forgot. I gotta change the title on Mixer. Sorry, Mixer. Can I join? Yeah, you guys are free to join. Add me as a friend. Send me a message. Let's get some... Play. Thanks, King. Appreciate it, bro. All right. One sec, Mixer. I'm gonna change the title. I'm working on it. You guys, welcome to the stream, Bren Pet Petkovic. Good to have you, man. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Got a little bit too deep today. Um. All right. Uh, what do I title this? Uh, 2019 rally makes sense. All right, mixer. It's been fixed. I'm bitter, bitter dragon, bitter dragon. Sorry, from a long time ago. Welcome back, man. Needle vest. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I gotta click on the screen. There we go. Okay. Oh, let me buy a car. Screw it. We're gonna come back and do this race. But first things first. I'm gonna buy maybe the Opel. I mean, maybe I'll buy it, but I don't know if I'm gonna take it out yet. It's. I know it's fast, but I kind of want to buy and take out a WRX. Let's see what we have, first of all. Browse cars. Where the rally car is at, man. All right.
What do I want? I already have a lance here. There, there isn't that like much that I don't have. Do they not have the blue one? Do they not have the blue one this year? The number 99 one? Of course I could, yeah, I mean, the Opel and the WRX. I of course am down to get the Volkswagen, but like other than that, it's not much left I need to buy. All right, we'll buy them both. I'm just buying from the auto show. I'm too lazy to save money. Tuner775, what's up? Usually S1 for rally racing, but we'll do some A-class as well. S2 rally is pretty crazy. We, we might be able to do it, but it's pretty crazy. Reese Barros. I don't know if I'm supposed to say it with accent or not. <laughs> Am I able to join? Yeah, you could join. Add me as a friend, send me a message. No promises you guys will get in, but I will try to get you guys in here. I'm gonna send an invite set of this room after this. I wanna find a nice livery for this. Go with that highlighter yellow. <laughs> I'm not finding anything that's that's really speaking to me. Oops. Damn elite controller. I pushed one of the buttons on the bottom. <laughs> no. You gotta be shitting me. Literally takes me out of the whole thing. My grant, my godfather rally is extremely hard for your pa patience. What are you talking about? I got no context. Okay. I was thinking about this. This is like, it's weird, but it's kind of cool. And they got the NOS bottles. I don't know, that's kind of cool. You guys like this? That's, that's dope too. I'm so picky today. That's kind of cool. Dirt fish. There's a lot that I like, but there's nothing that's just, that's just like, Making the decision easy for me, you know? You know when you're scrolling through and you just find that one that you look at for literally half a second and you're already downloading it onto your car? That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. But I see a ton of nice ones, but they're all kind of like I don't know what one's the the one to go with. That looks dope. But it's too plain. I'm trying to go for something extravagant. All right, we're going to go with the nitrous bottles. We might change it up. You know what's something I can do that I forgot? I can't favorite them from here because that would make things a lot easier. I can just favorite all the ones I like, looking at them all together, you know? But, hey, whatever. Sir Swerving Cap 69 Bro, thank you for following and thank you for hosting. Welcome to the Mixer. Good to have you. Appreciate the support. All right, let's see what this looks like. Change camera. See what it looks like from the back. <laughs> All right, we'll take it for now. Did I accept it? I didn't accept it. Oh, I suck. I suck so bad. I didn't. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Felipe, what's up? Welcome. Mitch, can you do my rally rail? Yeah, yeah. What up, Jad K? Welcome to the stream. How are you, bro? How have you been? Let me get that NOS livery back. This is weird. I like I like it. But at the same time, I kind of... There's something about that I don't like. It's like, I don't know. Beanie Boy, thank you for hosting. Good to have you. All right, so we're going to hand over the controls to Guy. Guy, as long as we're all happy with your, your tracks, we'll let you run them. But as soon as we're... As soon as we're unsatisfied with your custom routes... You cut. I'm I'm joking, but I'm not joking. <laughs> like if I don't like your roads, you're, we'll we'll hand it to someone else. Bro, you a great channel, Keenan Kokak. Thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Glad you enjoy the content. Let me throw a tune on here. Should we make this A class? I don't do A class enough. Let's make this one A class. I'm just gonna throw a tune on here. I'm not gonna tune it myself. I'm lazy. 
We'll just go. Oh, 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 A class. There we go. What do we got? You can't, even if the tuner isn't good, like, you can't destroy the card too much when it's already A762. So I'm not too worried. We'll just take this one right here. No need to get picky. S1 class. I. Uh, too late. I'll make the Opel. The Opel will be S1. I have two. I have the Lancia and the Audi Quattro in A class. But then I have the better Audi Quattro. I have the Honda Civic Coupe. I have like a thousand Ford Fiestas, all different ones apparently. <laughs> and they're all S1. So I figured we needed to add to the A class just a little bit. So we got that. Now the Opel and we're done. Where's that Opel at, man? So this car is really good. Still looks really nice. And it's RWD, I believe. So, yeah, it definitely is RWD. So that's pretty cool. Why didn't I just search for Opel? Travis Bustard. Hi, Mitchell. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Do my rally race after this. Um. Oh, I can just do it from going to the... You go to Creative Hub, then go to Custom Routes called Godfather. I don't know if I'll be able to find it that way. Because unless I can actually search the name of it, I don't know if that's going to work. Give me something fire. The, the liveries on this one, on the other hand, I'm not seeing a ton that are resonating with me. Look at this. Hey, that looks clean. But there's also body work. Well, no, no, no it's the front splitter. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. We might come back to that one. Might come back to it. Uh, this blue's kind of dope. Ooh. This one? I feel like the liveries were looking better on the WRX. Let's go with this. Let's take this out. Don't want to be as picky with this one. I think this one will, will look cool, though. Can I get a... That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty damn sick. Let's take that out. I'm happy with it, actually. I'm eating my ice cream. Nice, Mario. My girlfriend got me ice cream, and she got herself ice cream, and I'm so, like, torn because I have a bad habit of, of eating stuff that is supposed to be for her. She got herself, uh, what are they called? Like, I can't remember. But they're so good, all right? They're just... They're just way better than my ice cream <laughs> and i don't like like mine that much so i want to eat hers but i'm just you know forcing myself not to xg games welcome welcome she like i don't love like sweet ice cream i like like chocolate ice cream or like vanilla more basic ice cream you know and she got me fuzzy peach ice cream which is like it's cool it's not bad but her ice cream's way better. <laughs> oh, I don't have a tune on this. It's super slow. I hope they don't make it all-wheel drive on me. I want a rear-wheel drive S1 tune. All-wheel drive. First thing you see. S1. Search. Nah, this got to be one. What? Oh, oh, it doesn't get to the top of S1. I should have made this one uh, A-Class and the other one S1, the WRX. But that's okay. We'll just grab that tune. Whatever. Sub Mitch will try to join you tomorrow. All right, Neil. Sounds good to me. Beanie Boy, thank you for hosting, man. You're hosting twice? How you, how you doing that? But do you have the 22B STI? Is that it? Yeah, I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Where is it at? Where's my Subis at? All right, we're going to hop into a race right now. Subi. There it is. Pretty damn sick. Okay, so who am I handing over the controls to? Gi, right? Are you in here, Gi? If you're not in here, I'm not. You have to be in. <laughs> you got to be in here if you want to do custom routes. Okay, let me go with this one. We'll do this one for now. I'm going to send some invites. I hope you guys want to get in. Add me as a friend. Send me a message. We'll get you guys in here. 
Mitch, I have nine Moslers. Holy crap. If you're, that's probably a good idea. They're giving them out for free right now. But after that, they're going to be incredibly difficult to get your hands on. So yeah, it's probably a good idea to collect as many as you can. I think I like this song, but I'm not like sure yet. But I'm, I'm trying to get down with it. <laughs> You guys are new, welcome to the stream. It's a big cringe fest, I hope you're ready for it. Japanese boys. What is that? Om wa mu shandiru. Omawe shandiru. I don't sound Japanese, I must be saying it wrong. <laughs> so, so how do you feel about the Mosler being gave up for free? I don't mind. If it's the best car in the game, Great, let everyone get their hands on it because then everyone can compete at the top, you know? Like, I hated how a pre-order car was one of the best cars in the game. That just doesn't seem fair, you know? Because so many people couldn't get it, so I don't mind. It's saying Ford says lazy. I, they could have, like, put it in Forza's on live. I mean, not Forza on live, in like the Forza on shop or something like that. There's one right here. I don't need it. Whatever. We'll do it later. Or we'll do some later on. Maybe we'll squeeze in one today. Should we go with A-Class? Yeah. Let's do one A-Class. We'll take this out. Actually, we'll take out the WRX because that's what we have built. How is Asphalt 9 going, by the way? I haven't been playing it. It's a great game, but, you know, there's only so much time in a day, and I'd rather play this. <laughs> but, yeah, it is a good game. Morning clear. It's very different from this, obviously. Not everyone's going to like it. Alright, so I got the Lancia, I got the WX STI, and I have an Audi Quattro as well. Where's my rally car is at, though? Alright, screw it. I already know what I want. I just wanted to show the viewers, but it took me too long to find it. <laughs> Alright. This is such an interesting livery. I, like, don't know if I like it or not. Nah. I changed my mind. I don't like the front. Maybe that, that orange should be gone. Like, around the headlights that's wrapping around. Maybe it should be gone. It should just be blue. I feel like it'll look better. Might just be too much. The side's kind of cool, though. What do you guys think of this livery? I don't understand too much. Well, I had to eat. True. True. All right. Hey. Sounds good. You don't understand. <laughs> This is A-Class? This feels quick. This feels really nice. Oh, by the way, guys, me and my girlfriend were about to move to Switzerland. You guys know that. <laughs> we were literally about to, like, in an instant, move to Switzerland. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? There's like this, so I'll tell you the story. There's a government incentive at this one town that's, like, dying off. Everyone's old as shit. There's only, like, 200 people that live there. The, it's like a 15 minute drive into like the city out of the town and you get paid like 25,000 a year to move there if you're like a young couple so we we're like yeah yo let's go move there I was doing more research on it because I was serious I'm like shit whatever let's go I can take my YouTube channel with me anyway I don't I don't care <laughs> so we're about to move to Switzerland I was doing a lot of research on it turns out actually not a lot of research on it i was doing research until i came up to the point where they said only people who already live in switzerland basically or people who have a switzerland passport are allowed to uh to move there so yeah we're not moving to switzerland but uh we were about to straight up 25k a year why not do you like black panther yeah i do yeah he makes excellent thumbnails edits his videos really well Makes good content. Hotshot, what's up, bro? Snipes, what's good? Thank you for hosting and Hotshot, thank you for following, bro. For A-Class, this doesn't feel slow. We're always in S1, S2, or X. I haven't been giving A-Class enough love. Really, Jamal. <laughs> Ford GT last time. Now we're in the, uh, the Charger. All right. Oh, God. Interesting choices for Jamal in terms of rally cars. Don't hit the rocks. This tune's nice. 
This car is so good, actually. It's not super fast, but so good in terms of its stability. And it just... Maybe it's because I'm in A-class, honestly. Probably just because I'm in A-class. Hey! What's up, Jamal? I'm liking this. Glad we finally bought this. Thinking we have gone this long. And I love Subarus. We've gone this long without getting the WRX STI rally car. Okay, now we just gotta hold Jamal off. 50% done. Sup, fun Tim? Welcome back to the mixer, bro. Oh, please stay away. So, guys, what I'm hoping is 2021. Woo! Hell yeah! Thank you. When the 2021 Subaru BRZ comes out, that's when I'm going to have, like, all my money saved up and literally buy it brand new, fully spec'd out. That's the plan. I might, if, if YouTube was, like, to blow up for some reason, I would probably be impatient. I'll tell you why I'm waiting for 2021. But I'd probably be impatient, go for the 2020. But... The 2021 is getting a bigger engine, a bigger boxer engine, uh, a 2.4 liter, might be a 2.6, I'm not sure, but I've been, I watched a couple videos on it and some people were saying not only might it be a 2.4 or a 2.6 over the 2 liter, but it could also be turbocharged. If that's the case, of course the price tag is going to be a lot higher. Thank you, Jamal. Yeah, yeah, I'm in first place the whole time. Just pass me at the end with your damn straight line charger horsepower. Damn. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Anyways, new 20, 2021 BRZ should have a lot more power. Could be a bigger engine also with a turbo, which would just be amazing. I mean, that would be so incredible. Even if it's an extra five grand or something like that, or it could be an extra, I don't even know. I'm actually a little bit nervous for it. For the price tag on it. But either way, that would be sick to get my hands on. Whether it's naturally aspirated with a bigger engine or turbocharged, that would be pretty dope. Elijah, what's up, man? Welcome back. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. If I get a car before then and it isn't a BRZ, I'll probably just get an Impreza. Because again, I do really like Subarus. Uh, 2008 to 2010 Impreza because... They make more horsepower than the newer ones, and they don't look like a, a grandma car. So, <laughs> they look they look really close to the WRX, minus, like, some little, like, side skirts, little rear wing lip, and the, the intake, the, the intake? I don't know. The big cutout in the hood. Basically, it's just, like, a, a really base model Impreza WRX-looking vehicle. Not a WRX, but it looks basically the same, so. 175 horsepower. Not not making too much power, but I don't want anything too fast. I feel like it'll take away from the BRZ experience. I can't wait to drive the BRZ. You know what? Let's take it out. Make a rally BRZ? Nah, we'll take out the Opel. We'll do it later. We only have six in here? Oh, people are loading back in. Let me send some invites out while these guys are loading in. Physics classroom. Is that where you are, V Fortnite? In a physics classroom? <laughs> Rena, welcome. Pink slip grand. Nah, I done like you. Oh. Damn. Rena done like me. I think you're trying to say you don't like me? That really hurts. I don't know. Guys, I think I'm quitting. You know what? That that did it. Yeah. See you guys later. Have a good stream. I mean, have a good day, everyone. We're going to end things off here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, you changed your mind. That's why I came back. I changed. I, I, I came back because 
I saw Rena J. <laughs> okay, next race. Next race, guys. Opel's coming out. We got 11. I might have to send one more out. Uh, where am I going? Let's do. Mm, it's S1. We can do Gauntlet. Yeah, let's do Gauntlet. What's the best dirt race ever? What is the best dirt race ever? I actually made a video titled The Best Race Ever or something like that. And it was a dirt race. It's pretty cool. You might want to check it out. What's up, Warren? Do you use a controller? I use a controller. I have a wheel. I suck on the wheel. I need to get better at it. <laughs> but I use the, yeah, I use the controller, really. Whoa. What are those? What are those in the roof? Those don't look aerodynamic. What are those for? What do they do? You guys see what I'm talking about? I've never noticed these before. I don't know why. Maybe it's like this livery is made. I don't know. For some reason, I noticed them today. What are these for? I've seen the stuff on the NASCARs that open up so you don't flip over. But why are these just open? All right. Anyways, let's get into this. You guys got pranked hard. Did people think I was serious when I walked away? <laughs> I thought that was such a an obvious cringy joke. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to get us in this race. Actually, I have to send one invite out first. Oh no, no, it's Assassin Omen. We gotta get you in here, bro. Mitch, my best time on Goliath with the Mosler is 7.14.1. Wow, and I put down what? I put down 7.11, so you're pretty damn close. That's really good though, up here. Yeah, we should take that out at some point. Make a, a rally Mosler, bro. That's what, that's what we need. <laughs> okay, S1. Spring, I'm gonna take out, uh, I'm tempted to take out the Honda, I really am. But we're gonna take out the Opel because we've never driven it before. And we have a pretty dope livery on it, I'm actually happy with it. I suck at Goliath, do a 100 lap Goliath and then you will you won't suck. They're roof flaps. <laughs> True, yeah that's an air intake or some, ty some type of a flap. I'm leaning toward air intake. So you're not sure? True. Aerodynamics, they could only hurt aerodynamics. If they were in air intake of some sort, all right. Yeah, the Mustang buyer says air intakes. It's a very unique looking air intake though, right? I mean, they're not on this car, but, <laughs> but it is a very unique looking air intake. It looks like, when would that be closed then? Would it close at high speeds? I guess. It didn't, it didn't close at a standstill. I'm Car... Uh, how do I say your name? Karnj... Karnji. I swear you've been in here before, but today your name is just not computing with my brain. Sorry, man. <laughs> Welcome back, though. Good to have you. Mario, can we change this? Get something else in here. What's the best dirt race rally car? Hmm. The best rally car in the game might be one of the little track toys. Try out the BAC Mono, the Ariel Adam, the KTM Expo, something like that. Sorry about that. Oh, it's, it's Carnage. Oh, the four is an A. Carnage with a K and a four. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Thank you for, for helping me out. Today, it just wasn't working. Super. Saiyan Junior, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you. Good luck in the race. Thank you. I got my my Opel Manta 400. So I'm good. Austin Jordan, welcome to the stream. By the way, guys, if you guys didn't know, we had a flood in my regular area, so we moved into the living room. But we actually last night moved back into the OG spot. So although you guys can't tell, we are back. You haven't added me yet, bro. I can't add anyone right now, man. But I can send you out invites. It's just gonna take some time. We're gonna have a lobby reset at some point as well so we can get a bunch of new guys in. But yeah, overall, when it comes to, oh, we got it, woo! Just had to hit the e-brake for a little bit, kick the tail out. So we could get that checkpoint. Oh God. For all wheel drive, this is a little bit 
in unstable. Oh, come on. Uh, that Civic Coop. Trying to fight for first place up there. Come on, Opel! Damn! I feel like every corner, I'm not getting any turning. There we go. There we go. Now you're back in with the pack. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The Opel is a pretty good car, so we have a good shot. Especially in the gauntlet. We have more time to kind of let the car gap us from the competition. It's definitely better than the Civic Coupe. Then again, I still use my own personal tune on the Honda. And I'm not the best at tuning, so maybe that's why my Honda isn't as good. But I know the Opel is definitely a better car than the Honda I drive. But I have seen some of you do pretty good in the Hondas. Yes. Gear ratios are tuned well. Oh, crap. Stable is boring. It, it's stable enough. I can drive it. But it's not stable like that WRX was. Oh, God. Come on, Jamal. Jamal never uses, like, a traditional rally car. So he had the Ford GT, old Ford GT. Then he went with Dom's Charger. Not with the same paint job or anything, but same Charger. And now he's in the Hoonigan. I actually don't know what that is. What is, what is that? What, what car is that, guys? I'm not great with the old muscle cars. I'm not great with a lot of old cars. I didn't even know the Mosler was a, a thing until it came out in Forza. Come on, come on. This is grippy. You see it in that corner? You see how fast we took that corner? Yo, it is so nice on the road. Like, I feel like it's better on the the road than on the dirt and that's saying a lot most rally cars I don't like taking on the pavement come here Jamal what do you guys think are we going to be able to catch up to skin skin is like Rally racing is his thing. He's pretty damn good. Oh, Skin, after this, let me pass it over to you. He has some really, really good custom rally rally stages. Oh, God. That's not good. What does slipstreaming mean? Drafting. It's the same thing as drafting. I use just another word for it. You like hide behind another car so there's no wind resistance. Or not no wind resistance, but reduced wind resistance, you know? I feel like in real life, like in NASCAR and stuff, dr isn't drafting primarily more for like saving fuel and stuff like that? Rather than making passes? Like isn't that the big benefit of drafting? Oh God, I could be wrong. Porsche came in and rally hella good. Oh yeah. What's up, Jonathan Moore? So catching up to skin is proving challenging. Look at this car on the road though. I love this thing on the road. This is gonna be a great car for multi-surface races. Wow, it's too grippy. What's up, I'm in R. My Saints though. Oh, you're a Saints fan? Chargers season ended 12 and four. Oh man. Did the Ravens win? I didn't watch the Ravens like I was hoping I would. 
they, they win. I know, I'm like wearing a Ravens hat. Don't even know if they won their playoff game. But just focused on YouTube and stuff. So I don't really, I don't cable or anything. Yeah, I don't really watch anymore. I hope the Ravens won, though, obviously. Oh, God. Saints are crazy, man. Drew Brees is, is on another level. What's up, Matthew? Thank you for subscribing, man. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Even the breaks. The breaks on this thing are so good, too. I don't know why this feels so freaking good on the road. Like, better than most cars that I've raced in S1. As we go wide and miss the apex and everything. They won? Yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Was it just the wild card that they won? Oh god. I wonder if I'll ever, I don't know if I'll ever really get back into it and start watching that much again. Honestly, I don't love watching. Because it makes me reflect on like my past. And I like to just look forward, you know? I like to. I don't always look forward, but it just like, I don't know what it is. I'm, for some reason, and I always felt this way. Like, I didn't love watching um sports if i couldn't also if i didn't also feel like i was going to be able to compete at that level or something like i had a goal of being a professional football player so i loved watching and as a kid i was like oh yeah like i'm gonna be able to do that and then when i stopped playing football watching like just reminded me of like i didn't fail as a football player i i quit which I guess you could say failing, whatever. But I went to university on scholarship and then I just left, right? I moved on because I just didn't think it was what I wanted for my life. But when I go and like watch the NFL, it kind of brings me back to that. And you can't do everything, right? Like if I could be a professional football player and have that experience and also have the experience of being an entrepreneur and making money on my own terms, which was the main reason I left. Uh, I just didn't, I didn't like the lifestyle that I would have as a professional football player, because realistically, I would have been in the CFL. I know it sounds like, ah, oh, you never would have went pro, blah, blah, blah. I, I was a very promising athlete when it comes to the Canadian Football League, yeah. I had a really good chance, <laughs> but the lifestyle of a Canadian professional football player in the CFL, you get paid like a teacher, and you're beating on your body, you're moving around the country, you get traded. It's really hard work for, like, not horrible pay, but for what you're doing, it's not the best pay. It's not like in the NFL where average salary is like 1.5 mil. Your average salary if you're dressing is like 110K a year. You know, so I just didn't like that. Didn't like uh, where kind of my, my my path was leading. So I left. And now, yeah, watching football just reminds me. And I love football, so it just kind of makes me feel bad, you know? So I just try to focus on the, the future. Hey, GG, guys. Matt, remember the time I just kept donating one dollar? Yeah, yeah, I remember. That was pretty funny. Thank you, appreciate it, man. Welcome back, by the way. Together, Fiber 15. Are wait, wait, are you um, kill kill vibes? Am I getting your name right? You changed your name, right? It wasn't John XVX. You changed that recently. Ender Slayer, thank you for following. And together, Fiber 15. Thank you guys for following. Really appreciate it. You're pretty good, bro. Thank you, Gabe. Swega, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Mitch, Jamal was driving the Hoonigan Chevy Nova SS. I was going to say Chevy, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to get it wrong. 
<laughs> I didn't know what it was, but I was like, it looks like a Chevy muscle car in my head. But I was like, I'm just gonna stay silent. Also known as the Napalm Nova. Cool, man. Thank you for letting me know. Hopefully I remember the Chevy Nova SS. My Roll Tide Blue Oklahoma and made the Heisman cry. Really? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my last high school game, I cried. I made it until they start. Okay, but it was a crazy scenario. We were up like 30 something, nothing. We were up like 33 nothing. And then they came at the halftime and they came back and won like 35, 33. And I was playing the whole game injured and I was just like, it was such like a, oh man, it sucked. Oh god, that sucked. That was so bad. My last real high school game. After that, we faced Toronto and kicked their ass. But it was just like a fun scrimmage to us, honestly. We weren't really taking it serious. There's just no rivalry, right? Just some random team from Toronto. Why do I keep going to Colossus? Let me pass it over to Skin. What do you want to... Show us some of your routes, Skin. How long will you stream today? I don't know. We'll go for a while today, I think, though. We'll go for a pretty long time. You are my favorite. I'm in R. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the stream today. Promote to Convoy Leader. Show us skin. Here's some excellent tracks. And I got a bunch of cars ready to go. My name, Salty Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that, right? No, Kill Vibes. I said Kill Vibes. Sorry, sorry. Salty Dave. Kill Vibes. He was, he was like mod around the same time you were. You remember Kill Vibes, right? I can't join at 4 or 5 if you're still streaming. You can join then? Alright. Sounds good to me. So, uh, we'll just wait for Skin to get us into a race here. Blake Davenport, welcome, man. Actually, yeah, we have... Do we have room? While Skin's setting up a thing, I'll send invites up. Hopefully... You can just set it up. We should be able to get someone in in time. We're already full. So, guys, we'll have a lobby reset. We'll go 2 p.m. Actually, we're going to hand over to Skin for a while. 2.30 p.m. We'll reset the lobby and get a bunch of the new guys in. Reem broke. Thank you, man. Glad you're enjoying the stream today. Good to hear. Still waiting to join. Yeah, guys, if you're still waiting, I apologize. It can be a struggle to get in, people. But we will have a lobby reset soon. We can't have them too often because it takes a while to, like, invite 11 unique people and get 11 people in here like manually so we can't do them all the time you know damn it sayonara why you why are you doing me like this bro i <laughs> damn what up michael damn my name is mitchell but it's okay welcome back to the stream good to have you well, welcome to the stream. Have you ever been in here? Semi HW King. What's up, bro? All right, Warren's going to fill up the spot. Let's go, Skin. What you got for us? Actually, since we're waiting on Skin, 82 likes, guys. Thank you for the support. Super LM did a $100 donation, and I did $20 in ones. I feel like when you did it, I was in. Tell me if I was right. Maybe I'm wrong. I was playing Infected at the the rail... Is it called the rail yard? No, not the rail yard. That's the new place. In Horizon 3, the construction yard place. Was that when you did it? I swear, that's where my mind's going. First time here, I misread your name. Sorry. Oh, no worries, bro. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Honestly, it happens all the time. Are we, are we ready? I don't want to miss the race. What's going on, skin? Dino, I would love to join the game, but I'm at work right now. No worries. No worries. We get you in uh, whenever you're off work. <laughs> Remember when you called the rail yard the rally yard? Yes, I do remember. <laughs> I swear someone else called it that before me, though. I was just following the trend. Can I join the 230? Yeah, um, I know like guarantees, but I will be getting in a new group then. 
There we go. Okay, S1. What do I take out? I have so many S1 cars now. I have this. I love the livery on this. I think it looks sick. Looks super cool. Don't love the rims, but they came with the tune. Or the Honda. Take it. No problem, kid. Kyle, same goes for you, man. No promises, but we'll try to get you in here. So what are we going to talk about next, guys? I've been enjoying the conversations. <laughs> My cousins have both the BRZ and WXSTI in real life. That's sick. That's awesome, Mario. That's so cool. Have you uh, been in a ride in both of them? I would love to. I never even sat in a WXSTI. I never even sat in a Subaru BRZ. Did I tell you guys about the time some low-level uh, pimp was in a BRZ outside of my house. He claimed to be a pimp anyways. Who knows if he actually was. And like, why are you flexing? He was in like a 2013, 2014 BRZ. Why are you, why are you trying to, I'm, I complimented his car because I love the BRZ. So I'm walking by, I think I was with my dog or whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, bro, nice BRZ. Or like, oh, bro, I really like the BRZ. Like, nice car, something like that. And and he's like, yeah, bro. Like, he's like, just sell vagina. I'm gonna use the proper term, because then technically I'm not like swearing. There might be kids, I don't know. He's like, just, just sell women, essentially, is what he was saying. And I was like, what? What? I actually, what I responded with was, because I wasn't going to be like, oh, you're an idiot or something. I don't know. If he's starting an illegal business, I'm not going to anger this guy. Hot Gun 36, thank you for following. So I was like, oh, you know, I don't think my girlfriend would like that. I said something like that. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. So he just, like, basically said he was a pimp. And he was in a BRZ. I was the closest I ever got to sing in a BRZ, I guess. The door was open. <laughs> So, actually, what am I saying? I sat in a BRZ, but it was at like a car show. It doesn't really count. It was at like an official car show, like indoors. I never like turned on the engine or like went out for a spin, but I did sit in a BRZ. I didn't sit in a WRX. I could have. I The BRZ was one of the only cars I sat in at the whole car show so funny i like go past a lamborghini huracan performante and then i go to the brz and i'm taking photos like with the brz like my girlfriend's holding the phone i'm in front of the brz taking photos the huracan performante i'm just looking at the brz i'm like taking photos with <laughs> i love that car so much <laughs> Come on, Warren. Slow down, man. Damn. This car is pretty nimble. Doesn't have much power, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo. Mitch, I crashed. Oh, skin. No. Damn it. <laughs> well, hopefully you get back in. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Go with the tree. You know what? It's only 25%. We can catch up. So we're in Skin's custom route, but Skin isn't here to, to enjoy it with us. Damn it. The other Fiesta's pulling away. No. I've seen him a couple times. I think someone in my neighborhood is a regular... Uh, what would you call someone who buys prostitutes? I don't know. A regular desperate human being, I guess. Maybe. But yeah, I've seen him in my neighborhood, like on my street, like three times. And I've seen other sketchy people around the same house. That's a sad moment when you gotta pay for some really ugly 
and like infected and just disgusting women. You must be really desperate. There's one thing I've learned from living in the ghettos. Most prostitutes are not very attractive <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh god, wow, where's this conversation going? This is I this is a bad stream. Kids. You come back tomorrow. Oh god. Stay on the road, please, damn it! What's up, Gabe? You added me? Alright, man. Why did you go back off the road? I mean, come on. What's up, Elbrus? Elbrus. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, man. Do you have a PS4? Do you not have an Xbox? I'm making a lot of assumptions based off your profile picture. Bro! Fiesta! Stop hating me so much. How did we get that checkpoint? All right, after we got that checkpoint, we have to catch up to Jamal. There's just no other option. That was a sign. We clearly missed that, bro. <laughs> clearly missed that checkpoint. Come on. Come here, Jamal. Just give me my podium spot back and no one gets hurt. All right? We don't have to get violent about this. Give me that podium spot back. Hell yeah. No! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Get off of the cobblestones! You're not a bulldozer. You're a rally car. I wasn't ready for that turn either, Jamal. Well, I don't know about catching him anymore. Warden's killing it. You love the Honda one. You do really well with that car, too. I don't see a ton of people driving it, but Warren always is, like, top two in it. Go, 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 go. Woo! Oh, damn. No! Oh, I was in the habit of going right there. You guys know the, the route, what's it called, the scramble, where you go right, messing with my mind, man, oh god, Woo! <laughs> I'm being stupid now, get your end the game, thank you guys, man, appreciate it, thank you guys, for 11.1k, actually, we hit 11.1k before we went live. What? Oh, it was the countdown for the. All right. I thought I still missed the checkpoint. I was like, what are you talking about? GG, guys. Am I gonna make it to the finish? I might. I might. 10 seconds. Yeah, I am. Hell yeah. Not getting DNF. Stick that ass up. <laughs> One, I passed. A lot of people passed me, bro. Clean Motorsport Racing Association. What's up, bro? Yeah, I love trees, man. What can I say? <laughs> Anyone else use a steering wheel? I want to start, but I just need to get better at it. But then again, like, there's other problems. Love your channel, never miss a video. Jonathan, appreciate it. There's other problems with the wheel that really, like, annoy me. I can't. The wheel won't let me look left and right. I've been trying to change the button mapping and figure it out. People like, oh, use the paddles. I've tried. I've tried using the D-pad. It just doesn't work on Forza Horizon 4. For me, I don't know why. So when I'm driving, like if you're playing Infected, imagine playing Infected, but you can't look anywhere except forward and behind you. Like that's, that's tough, you know? Really tough. All right. We'll join that. Are we back with skin already? We are. Okay. Hey, that works. What is your favorite car? My favorite car ever? The Apollo IE. What's your guys' favorite car? Yeah, skin. Do one infected match. Skin, do an infected match. 
and then we'll do another custom one after. It's hard to drive with a steering wheel. It is. Yeah. I never really realized how difficult it would be. I'm, I gotta like tone down my IRL driving. Like, bro, my, when I'm driving, my Mazda 3 is always at red line. Like, and I'm getting a little too confident. <laughs> getting a little too confident. I think I gotta tone it down a little bit. You know, you get used to certain corners, you just push them a little faster and faster every time. What's up, 5K? Welcome to the stream, Ryan. Welcome back, bro. Yes, I remember you. Welcome back. MC12 Ports Edition or the McLaren F1 GT for money grinding and skill point grind. Um, actually, if you're talking about, I would say the Vulcan Ports Edition. I know that's not what I said in my video. I like that livery a lot. I know that's not what I said in my video, but the Valken Force Edition is a great, look at these, look at these sexy ass fiestas right here, you know? This is dope. Dino, thank you for subscribing, man. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the community. Appreciate the support. Let me add some, some life into this photo. Damn it. No, this is a good photo. And that is gonna be in the way of my photo. I'll use it anyways. I'll just throw text over it. Damn. All right, all right. I'm joining. Quit beeping at me. I'm already, I am already have the Vulcan FE. Yeah, the Vulcan Ford's Edition is a good car to use. Okay, I'm gonna use... Oh. Where my rally car is at, bro. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm definitely gonna run out of time. The Honda. Yeah, we'll go with the Honda today, bro. Jay, yes, you can join. You guys are free to join. Add me as a friend. Send me a message. We're gonna have a lobby reset at 2... Did I say 2 p.m.? No, I said 2.30 p.m. 2.30 p.m. We're gonna have a lobby reset. Get a bunch of you up in here. Should be fun. Math. What's up, Math? Thank you for following the Mixer. Yo, Mitch, I'm watching, watching for Mixer. Thing, uh, Tyrone Burger. Thank you for the support, bro. Are you live on YouTube too? Yes, I am, Carnage. Yeah. What's up? K K Gear Halo, Kager Kager. I don't know, man. <laughs> Baladen Savic. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the stream. I hope I can join in soon. Two thirty will be the lobby reset. We should be able to get you in there, but no promises. What tunes do you use so I can follow you? Um, what tunes do I use? I use... Sometimes I use Skin Gamers tunes. I use Attack Johnson's tunes. Uh, Shadow Man's tunes. GTC Marple, if I, if I find it. Don Juan Song occasionally. There's a few names that I just keep in my mind that I look for. Stop skipping me. What'd you say, Guy? I'll DM you the story on Discord later. Okay, cool. Mitch, would you ever do drifting in real life? Hell yeah. I try to in the Mazda 3. If there's like a lot of rain or there's snow or ice, whatever it is, I'm not drifting because it's front wheel drive, but I'm sliding all over the place, man. All over the place. I had two vlogs about it, but I think I deleted both of them because I didn't want like my girlfriend's parents to see, you know? <laughs> Yo, Mitch, have you ever tried Team Adventure? Yeah, yes, I have. Let's try that again, Skin. The 17th birthday, your 17th birthday was yesterday. Happy belated, sorry we couldn't be live. Would have liked to give you a happy birthday on your actual birthday, but happy birthday, Elijah. We get some happy birthdays for Elijah in here? Forza, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with Forza? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of issues with the lobby, so I'm not gonna lie. My dad drifts his Dodge 1500 Hemi. That's sick, Ender. That's so cool. Yes, I live in Canada. Yeah. I live in uh, Hamilton, Ontario, man. I don't know how to look different ways. Does anyone? With the wheel, yeah. Same issue here, bro. Same damn issue. 
It's all good, Mitchell. Hopefully, I can get in eventually. Yeah, hopefully. Mitch, talk after the stream. All right, I'll try to remember it too, here. I remember I forgot another time. I don't know why I always... Well, my memory is trash. That's, <laughs> that's why I forget, because my memory is absolute trash. I hope my memory gets better with this diet I'm going to do. So, into some boring stuff. <laughs> I'm doing a ketogenic diet soon. going to try it out. And I've been learning a little bit about it. Um, one of the symptoms of type 3 diabetes is like al Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's or dementia-like symptoms where your memory gets bad and stuff like that. And you know what? I drink, I eat so much sugar. I consume so much processed sugar. I wouldn't be surprised if I have or am starting to get type 3 diabetes. And that would really explain how terrible my memory is. But with this, if you have, like type 3 is a reversible form of diabetes, right? So if you are on a keto diet, diet which basically eliminates processed sugars, a lot of these people are coming from like, not remembering like their wife to recovering from it and actually being able to remember and you know anyways hopefully i'm not at that point but hopefully i recover because my memory is not good i'm i'm nervous for like my life down the line i might have die die what's the the meme diabetes di i don't know there's a meme about it but i might i don't know i i have way too much sugar like i have no self-control when it comes to sugar <laughs> Jeez, mitch a year's passed since your last stream thought you made more than that what do you mean a year's passed since your last stream i thought you made more than that what my last stream was what two days ago three days ago I was, trying, I was trying to see if you had some other meaning behind what you were saying. Zombified Killer, welcome to the stream. Good to have you, man. Yeah, I know. I missed a couple days, but... Oh, I'm starting things off right now? All right. Fair enough. Oh, someone just flew in front of me. Hey, I don't know where, where they were going. They were just stopped. Gugs, Gugs won last time. Gugs, I gotta get you this time. Or else you're gonna win again. You're in the same vehicle and everything. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> what's with the Fortune Island giveaway? Um, what do you mean, what's with it? I gave away Fortune Island a long time ago now, man. That's all done. He's lagging. I don't know where he actually is. The game's not telling me the truth. Oh, the game's helping him. You gotta be shitting me. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Gugs, what is going on with you? Oh, I'm drowning. Mitch, what's wrong with you? I haven't streamed since last year. Oh, I understand now, because it's the new year. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm a little slow, my bad. That, that clicked. That made the last message click for me. Well, I'll be streaming more. I'm trying to get back into a rhythm. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's like, I love, I love streaming. But I get, I get into a rhythm of streaming. Everything's good. I'm having a lot of fun streaming, making videos every day. And then I get ripped out of it because of, like, Christmas, right? Like, I'm Christmas, New Year's, all the holidays. I'm, like, never allowed to be here to make content because I got to, like, see family and do stuff and, you know, be a normal human per human being and not a hermit crab. But it pulls me out of my rhythm. And then it's always so hard to, like, get back into it. I hate it. I, I don't know why I'm like that, but... It's always like a battle to get back into it. And then I'm like super happy once I'm back into my rhythm. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Come on, Gugs! Damn! Liam Hose Hosey. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Sorry. I butcher everyone's name. Don't worry. Wait another five minutes. I'll butcher someone else's. 
But thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. Glad you're enjoying the stream. You really have type 3. I might. No, I might. You know what? I have a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, little health issues that aren't very serious yet, but that are probably because of, like, my sugar intake and possibly type 3 diabetes. Possibly. Obviously, I hope I don't have it, but you know what? Like, I need something to convince me to stop consuming sugar like it's water. <laughs> Desperately. And, oh man, energy drinks. When I'm in a rhythm, I don't want to miss a stream. I don't want to not get a video out. So if I have to, I will just not sleep and just consume energy drinks. That's horrible. That's so bad. I want an Inventador SV so bad. I got one. Pretty sick. Mitch, I live in Canada. So go see the healer. The healer? What do you mean? <laughs> You're acting like... Making it sound like we all have this one tribal healer or something. You might be bipolar, just saying. If you're happy one minute, then I don't know the next. That's not how I am. No. There's no type 3. Yes, there is type 3 diabetes. That is 100% a thing. According to a doctor who treats stuff like that for over 20 years, there's type 3 diabetes. That's my source. <laughs> Uh, but no, I don't think I'm bipolar Like I said, I'm not like pissed off. I just struggle to get back into a rhythm of streaming on a regular basis Let's... Bipolar is like I'm super happy and all of a sudden I hate everyone in the chat and I like I don't know Who's my dog is bipolar. All right, that's bipolar feel like You'll be playing with him, he's all happy, you're petting him, then he wants to kill you. Out of nowhere, he wants to kill you. That's bipolar. I'm, de <laughs> I'm definitely not bipolar. Yeah, go see the Canadian healer. <laughs> the freaking free healthcare, seven hour wait times. No, I think the ketogenic, ketogenic diets will be huge for me. I think it'll be really helpful. Honestly, why even go? Like, why even go to the hospital for something like that? They don't care. Like, they just get you in and get you out. They don't really give you valuable information. They're probably just going to give you, like, some sort of drug. Like, oh, you're having, like, heart pain? Here, just take this drug. And, like, whatever. <laughs> get out. Let's get someone else in here. Honestly, I'd rather, at this point, when it's something that's just minor... You know, like, my memory isn't the best, stuff like that. I'd rather just do research on my own and, like, try things out because the hospitals here, they're whack, bro. They're so whack. I'm just sure it's just period season. Was I angry at some point? <laughs> we got period jokes now. Apparently I'm bipolar. Was I displaying some sort of bipolar behavior at some point in this stream? My dog is evil. My dog is evil. I love my dog, but my dog is evil. My dog genuinely is a psychopath. Genuinely. Like, he could, he could probably rip my arm off if he had the strength. Rip my arm off my body and within a few minutes, he'd probably go back to playing with his toys like nothing happened. Like, he's, he's by definition, a psychopath. And also, he's bipolar. <laughs> Luckily, he can't rip my arm off. Now, he's nowhere near as uh, aggressive as he used to be. But his mood still changes the same as it used to. Before, I'm not joking, guys. My dog has literally attacked me. It's because he was abused as a puppy. Wasn't by me, because I know not to do that. I've had, I've owned animals. He was abused early on, unfortunately. Wasn't by my girlfriend either. And uh, yeah, so it was kind of like a battle ever since then. But he's literally like attacked me. I was the one who had to do all the, the training because when you're training a dog like that, like my girlfriend's just too scared to do it. So there was one time he literally lunged at me, attacked me. I had to like wrestle him on his back. 
you guys don't know dogs once you get them on their back they they stop they just like calm down they give up it's over so I, I had to just like wrestle him on his back there's a few times I had to do it but that one time he legitimately lunged at me he was like I am going to kill you like and what I was doing was I was like training him with his food I had leather gloves on because I know he's super aggressive I had these thick leather gloves on and I was training him to uh, like not be aggressive when people are around his food and he attacked me now he's good now he gets uncomfortable he's still crazy but he knows how to behave so he gets really uncomfortable and he leaves he'll stop eating and just leave this the, the area instead of lunging at people which is that's that's pretty damn good progress if you ask me what kind of dog do you have he's a shepherd lab husky mix but two people uh gabe and snipes asked me that can I still win 11 million credits if I sub and turn on notifications? Yeah, you know what, Ender? If you sub and turn on notifications, I will personally... I'll buy you a Ford GT. How about that? Whatever your favorite car is, we'll get that shipped to you. Screw 11 million credits. You don't need that. Boothy, thank you for following the mixer. Good to have you. How long till you reset the group? I'm going to reset everything in 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes, we're going to have a lobby reset. Thanks for responding to me, on, to me on Insta. No problem. Usually I check the Instagram messages often, but I was just like, with the holidays, I, I went over it. I was just like out of my rhythm. I struggled to get back into it. We'll just watch the movie Healer. It's kind of good. Oh, yeah. Once you watch that movie, you're good. Never need to see a doctor again. <laughs> my mom has type 1, and she's been dealing with that BS all the time. And no, it's not true because you can be happy, then sad, then feel lost to be bipolar. I was saying I'm not bipolar because I don't have those mood swings. I wasn't re like redefining bipolar. Bipolar is when your mood changes on a dime for no particular reason. I think I have a good understanding of what bipolar is. I'm sorry to hear about your mom. That's really unfortunate, man. Cameron, actually a few people in my family have diabetes as well. Cameron Verg, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. Yeah, I was literally saying I don't have I don't think I'm bipolar because I I don't have that. If I like if I'm upset, I usually know why. And it's not like on a dime like that. That would suck. That would be a crappy way to live. Gorish713, thank you for following, bro. I got attacked by a pipple. I, I got bit by a pit bull. Luckily, it was a little puppy. But yeah, it's not too hard to defend yourself against a dog. Even even a dog like a pit bull. Actually, I'd rather go up against a pit bull over like a Rottweiler. Not, the pit bull has way bigger draw. It depends on the pit bull. I'd rather go against a lean pit bull, like a thin pit bull. There's two styles of pit bulls, right? There's the big beefy ones, and then there's the more lean uh, ones that have a more athletic body. Because really, the challenge is getting them on their back. If you can get any dog on their back, they'll submit to you. So like a big Rottweiler, that's like difficult, right? A lean pit bull, I might get bit or something, but I can handle myself. I would be scared against a full-size Rottweiler. That would be tough to... That would be really tough. Probably would be all right, but definitely would be scary. It'd be scary either way, don't get me wrong. I'd just rather go up against a lean pit bull. <laughs> Anthony Smith, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the community. That actually brings me to a story. You know, I was leaving uh, a soccer park. I was leaving a soccer park. I was with my friends, and I left. Uh, I left before everyone. What the hell? Freaking rubber tree! I just bounce off it. So I'm leaving this park. I'm crossing through this little forested area, and something runs across my view. Maybe 15 feet in front of me. It looks like a dog. Like someone's dog. 
And while after that happens, I'm like looking around for an owner. And I'm coming up to the forest today. I'm still not in the forest today. The dog had ran through the forested area in front of me. And right as I'm about to enter, I see what I think is a dog come out of the forest, like 40 feet down on my right. And it was a coyote. Hamilton has like a lot of coyotes. I don't know if they always run in packs, but I'm pretty sure they are pretty like social animals and spend a lot of time around each other. So I was kind of worried about like a lot of coyotes, you know? And like, I don't know, I was just paranoid. I still had to cross through this forest. Like, that's how I get home. And the dog came out of the forest, like just half its body was out of the tree line. And it was just staring at me. Not the dog, the coyote, which is whatever. It's basically a dog. By itself, it's basically a dog. A wild dog. Uh, and it's just staring at me. And I'm just like, standing there looking at it because like I don't know I'm just like ready like like all right if this thing comes at me I know what I gotta do but I'm not happy about it like pretty like nervous honestly and uh, I walked through the the forested area sketched out as all hell nothing happened <laughs> nothing happened I was fine but it was kind of freaky Hello, Jamal. St oh, no! <laughs> Damn it. He jumped on me and bit my arm. So I slammed him. I was high. You, <laughs> you know what's actually funny? I was high. <laughs> when I saw the coyote. <laughs> that was probably what sketched me out the most. I've told you guys that I've smoked in the past before, though. Hope it's not a big surprise for some of you. Weed's legal in Canada, so literally everyone, like, everyone smokes. Honestly, I think at this point, people might smoke just as much as people drink alcohol already. What's up, humble? Oh, God. Yeah, that was what made it the, the worst. Like, I don't want to fight. When you're, when you're high, you do not want to fight at all. Like, all you want to do is chill. Last thing you want to do is fight a coyote. It's like, are you serious right now? <laughs> I want a Mercedes. You said, oh, the six by six. Yeah, that'd be so cool. It'd be so awesome. It's not legal in Tennessee, but it ain't stopping me. Yeah, I, I, I when I was high, it wasn't legal yet. <laughs> but it basically was. It was kind of like one of those things where literally, like, you could buy it. It wasn't necessarily legal. There was commercial buildings, and there are everywhere now. But there was commercial buildings selling weed dispensaries that were selling weed you could walk in without anything you didn't need uh, a card saying that you had a prescription nothing you just walked in and they sold it to you no problem it just didn't it was like everyone knew it was going to be legalized for like a full year and a half two years so the law just like they stopped enforcing the law basically so yeah it, it was basically legal although it wasn't legal when you get high, you get scared of a lot of things. It's easy It's easy to get scared of stuff. Yeah, yeah, like if, like I remember like going outside to the car in the middle of the night would make me a little nervous if I was, if I was high, which I would never be nervous otherwise. Yeah. Anyways, it kind of depends. It depends on what you, like, what you smoke or however you take it. And it also depends on the person i saw this one girl who like had the funniest it sucks for her i'm sure this is fake react to this bro this is fake you ain't even looking at the screen you won't even read this <laughs> all right 
What do you mean this is fake? What do you What do you mean it's a live stream, bro? <laughs> the hell are you getting that? <laughs> Welcome, Tronix. Have you seen a baby coyote? They're everywhere down here. No, I haven't. I've never seen a baby. What was I saying? Anyways, yeah, it depends on the person. This one girl, literally, like, she thought her head was gonna fall off. She's like, my head's gonna fall off. Okay, Mitchell. Oops. Head to head to it was so funny. Oh, man. So, it probably sucked for her. Probably sucked. But, it was kind of funny. Like, why do you think your head's gonna fall? What are you talking? Uh, take it easy, Gurney. See ya, bro. Server reset at 2.30, guys. Farouk, welcome, welcome. Good to have you, man. We sent some invites out. Travis Leister. Brand new. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Bitter Dragon 84 good to have you. All right, let me send some invites out here. What, are, what do you guys want to do now? We'll just do another custom one. So, 20, 24 minutes. 24 minutes, we'll have a lobby reset. How are you, Farouk? If I'm saying that right? Probably not. Philip, I can't add anyone back yet. I'm like, it doesn't let me add anyone anymore. I used to add every single person back. Cause just because it makes it easier for you guys because you guys can just join on your own i don't have to send invites out but i can't do that anymore man so yeah i don't see why not elijah are you in here right now oh this guy looks dope honestly that's my favorite superhero right there master chief if i could be anyone i would want to be master chief but maybe not. But Master Chief's so cool. Like he's so freaking cool. Let's be honest. How cool is Master Chief? They hit bongs, gravity bongs, just smoke zoots or blunts. Fruit true. I think bongs are like the healthiest way to go because you don't get you don't get ashes or debris in your lungs. And that's really there's two areas where we can be unhealthy for you. Your brain isn't developed yet. Which technically is everyone under 25 on average. So that's something to consider. Uh, and then if you're smoking it in a way where you're actually getting the plant in your lungs. Like physical matter in your lungs. That's obviously not good for your lungs. So with the bong you don't get that. I'm back. Xbox Live and a cold Pepsi. Woo. That sounds nice, old Foxy. Sound ready to chill, ready to hang out. <laughs> All right, we have a full group in here. No, we don't. Just waiting for these guys to load in. My mouth is so dry, bro. Get some water. He's calling me childish. What's up, clean? Long race, Mitch. Okay, we need it. Ah, uh, sure, sure. I'm gonna have to get focused if we're gonna do a long one. Clean Motorsport, I'll be able to get you in soon. Guys, thank you so much for the Sparks. Ryan, Nor Noramy, and Gentlist. Mitch, as you know, I'm not participating this month to let others actually get first and second place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, Doggycraft is either. Probably why he's not here today. All right. It's using a magnifying glass to light the... Oh, yeah. Wow. Yo, King. Yeah. That's crazy, man. King is like... He knows. He knows. I've never, never seen that before. Never heard of it. That's smart. Yeah, because... Yeah, lighter isn't really great. Yes. Flag rush? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Have to restart Forza? Oh, okay. Can I be in next reset because I just joined? Uh, yeah, you, you have a chance to get in, yeah? No guarantees. We'll see what happens. All right, last one. Last one. 
What do you guys think of the new mid-engine Corvette? I've seen some renders of it that look crazy nice. But from what I see from the actual one, although it's in the camo, the new mid-engine Corvette, I don't I don't love the look of it so far. But it might be it's obviously it's too early to tell. But I'm not getting good vibes. <laughs> Thanks, Granda Joe, for the sparks. Appreciate it. People over here smoke a lot, even though it's illegal in England. Bro, people smoke weed everywhere because it actually has way more health benefits than detriments. It's like, not, it isn't addictive. It straight up isn't. It, it's addictive in the way that candy is addictive or. Uh, playing video games all day is addictive. It's addictive because it's fun. You feel really like you have no worries unless you get paranoid. Then that that sucks. But it's not like other drugs that like destroy your life, right? People people with Parkinson's can smoke it and relieve their symptoms basically completely. Like that's crazy. Someone with Parkinson's can go from like being all like jacked up and their life being destroyed to being able to relax and use their arms and stuff properly and think and talk properly. That's crazy. That's not, that's, that's medicine, bro. <laughs> that's why it's being legalized. Like it's slowly being legalized everywhere. Bitch, I gotta go have a great stream. I'll probably be back soon. All right, Elijah, sounds good, man. I'd say give it another five, six years, it'll probably be legal everywhere in the US too. So do you drink a lot of water? I try to. Not enough. People over here on acid. That's yeah. Now people people here, the bad drug a lot of people use is like uh like crack and stuff, man. That's crazy. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> Company, what's up bro? It's wild, like, how much life changes from school to leaving school. Some of the guys, I never thought they were cool, but I got the feeling that other people thought they were cool. Whether people did or not, I'm not sure. But some of the guys who would, like, smoke crack and stuff like that and do cocaine and, like, all this stuff, it seemed like people thought they were cool. And now I'm thinking about them now. I'm like, damn, they're probably addicted. They're like, they could be homeless. I don't like, I heard about this one kid who like, he has a kid, he's my age, he has a kid, he's a heroin addict. It's like, oh my God. But it just gets so real after you leave school, you know? My girlfriend knows another guy who overdosed and like, it's wild. Once, like, no one realizes. When everyone's in school, everyone's like, just still, no worries, no care in the world. And then once they get thrown out into the real world, it's just like, shit, we out here. You know, people, people are dropping. Like, you know, a couple people you knew commit suicide and a bunch of them have kids and, you know, they're, they're single parents or, they can't even see their children. It's just crazy when like life hits everyone. Really crazy. Really lucky I never went down any of those paths. If you guys are in school, I mean, it doesn't matter if I tell you, because it wouldn't have mattered if someone told me. You never really understand until you, you go through it, like firsthand. But it will be pretty like shocking. For me, as soon as school ended, I stopped using social media. I never, that's another thing. I'm very, I guess I'm just very different from a lot of people in that way. I told you guys earlier, I didn't like watching football because I didn't like reflecting on my like past in football. Like I do it, but I don't love to do it. I want to stop doing it because it just distracts me from like my future goals, what I'm working towards now. Anyways, um, the other thing is social media. A lot of people, as soon as high school ended, I didn't use social media. I use social media for my channel, for you guys and stuff like that. 
But that's it. I stopped using social media. I actually deactivated my Facebook account. So I kind of got cut off from everyone. Like, I didn't know what was going on with all the people I knew from high school. And I didn't really want to know because for some reason I felt like everyone would be doing so much better than me. Because I think social media gives you that vibe. Because everyone, no one shows you, like, that they can't afford to pay rent this month or that they're a heroin addict. They show you when their parents took them on vacation to Cuba or when they went to the club and had a good time. So everyone's lives look really nice and look like they're doing so much better than you. I think that's probably the biggest reason I was like, let me just not worry about social media. What's up, Rom Sleeper? Thank you for subscribing. So I got cut off from all, everyone, for a year, two years, actually probably two, two and a half years. I got cut off from basically everyone. But then my friend, who does still use social media, and is still in contact with a lot of these people, started telling me stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, like, bro. Guys who were supposed to be so cool, who I was, like, jealous of in some aspects. Like, I was quiet, and I didn't want to be popular, but at the same time, I was a little bit jealous of people who had a lot of friends, right? Like, I, it, was, it was like there's pros and cons to every scenario. I didn't like the cons that came with being popular. I didn't want that. But I also uh, wanted the pros. So, so I was jealous of some of these guys. And then, like, I find out crazy crap about them being, like, drug addicts or, like, basically homeless. Just, like, stuck with their parents or their parents are kicking them out. And, like, it's just crazy. I don't know. really wild I'm thinking I'm like over here failing because I'm a, a small youtuber <laughs> but I'm doing better than a lot of people just because I'm not like going downhill so many people are going downhill man president Mitch <laughs> I definitely don't want to be president hell no that that would no <laughs> Not that I ever could become president. Not with my memory. Honestly, I don't think my cognitive function... Not to shit on myself too much. I just don't think my cognitive function's on that level. I don't think I would be good at having, like... An hour-long debate with... Another, uh... Another politician. I'm not good at, like remembering the conversation and like tracking everything and just like remembering things like dates and statistics not good at that that's all really important if you're gonna like win debates and ultimately become the president but even if I just like could skip all that I wouldn't want to become the president hell no no and I don't think I would do a good job obviously it's funny, I, lo I love listening to ignorant people who, like, don't acknowledge their ignorance. I love it. It's so freaking entertaining. I'm ignorant, I acknowledge it. I'm ignorant in a lot of ways, and we all are. You don't know shit about, I don't know, makeup. You don't know shit about politics in India, most likely, right? But... There's some people out there who are in your boat, don't know shit about politics in India, but they swear they know how to cure the hunger problem in India. Like, they know. They, they got it down. If they were president of India or... I don't know, whatever the leader of India is called, they would fix things. Those people entertain me so much. Just to, to sue something. <laughs> I can't say your name. Shisatsu. I'm sorry. Welcome to the community. Thank you for subscribing. I've butchered names pretty bad before, but that was a really bad one. Probably in the top 50. Oh, God. Whoa. 
Yeah, even stuff that I think I know a lot about, I always try to stay open-minded. Because, like, there's always a lot of people out there who just know it a lot better than you, know a lot more than you. It's crazy, like, how you could get one opinion from a set of statistics, and then one statistic you didn't know about disproves why you thought your opinion was valid or why it seemed valid. And you just didn't know. You were ignorant to it. What are we listening to? Like some piano or something? I don't even know. Open-minded? Oh, it's a much better way to communicate for sure. I mean, it can be a little bit annoying because honestly, I have moments, guys, no joke. I love learning, love learning, but I have moments where like, because I like learning about really like interesting stuff, like, uh, I don't know, space, or like for six months I just researched the flat earth spe theory, at the same time I'll go to the other end and just research like space and stuff like that, just really interesting stuff, stuff that maybe we don't know 100%, people have like different arguments on politics. I don't know, stuff that interests me. And I'll learn and research for so long, and I'll literally have moments where I'm just like, I don't know what the hell's real. Like, I literally say that to myself. Like, I don't know what the hell to believe. Like, I don't know what's the truth. Like, I don't know. Elon Musk thinks life is a simulation, and we are living in some sort of crazy advanced computer. What, what the hell's real? You know? <laughs> that's what that's like the downside of being really open minded. You just at times you just feel lost. There's so many there's so many theories backed by convincing evidence. If you come at them with an open mind, that you're just like, what the hell, man? <laughs> but overall, I love uh, I love being able to learn like different arguments and just, I, I, I just like learning in general. You wouldn't have got that from my, my schooling, but <laughs> I hated school, but I love learning. <laughs> Go home from school and watch informative videos all day, but never try in school or pay attention. Basically how it went. Mitch, we barely discovered the depths of our oceans. Yeah, that's another thing. Stuff like that would be really interesting to dive into. I haven't dove into it very much, but those are the stuff I like learning about. The stuff that like we're not sure, the stuff that we're in debate about, that's what I love learning about the most. Obviously, like, if you learn, I don't know, you learn about the different types of clouds, which is what I was doing in university boring as shit but yeah I was literally learning about the different types of clouds obviously I don't really have much difficulty there it's like okay yeah this cloud is called this this cloud is found at this elevation cool but the stuff where it's like not black and white or there's multiple answers you know politics uh, undiscovered depths of the ocean space new technologies that stuff is all really interesting to learn about. I find. I'm lost now because I don't, I'm not watching YouTube. True, I don't know man. Feels like I'm sleeping though, okay. <laughs> I don't get two people who say like, oh, like, there's, uh, there's a lot of people who say like you can't learn anything from like YouTube. I, that makes zero sense to me. I've heard people like, there's like this narrative that you have to go to university or else what you learned isn't valid. That's hilarious because I've literally spent hours watching the top professors in the world give lectures at Harvard. Knowledge I would never have access to 
because I could never get into Harvard. But then people who go to some basic ass university will tell me my education, it's not real. It's, it's, I, what I learned isn't real because it didn't, it wasn't in person in a university campus. <laughs> like, are you crazy? Obviously you need to fact check stuff and not just believe anyone. But if you're learning from someone who's credible, if you're watching a speech from a, a top politician or a, a lecture from a professor, like that's credible information. Doesn't matter that it got uploaded to YouTube. It doesn't somehow illegitimize it. You can learn a lot on YouTube or just platforms like it. A lot of people don't like reading, especially our generation. It's, you don't retain as much if you're just listening to a lecture. You don't retain as much at all than you, than you would from reading, but you can still learn. And if you're passionate about what you're learning about, you're gonna be focused, you're gonna wanna pay attention. You can still learn a lot. Brings me to my next rant. I think too many, I think too many people go to university just because they think that's like their ticket to uh, security, financial security. When it, it usually isn't. That's crazy. A lot of people don't, I don't know if they don't realize or they don't want to acknowledge it. It usually isn't people's ticket to financial security. Most people get out of university and do something that isn't in their field that has nothing to do with their diploma. That being said, having a diploma or whatever for university, like, it'll help you get hired, I, I would assume. It shows that you're committed, that you have decent work ethic. It's not bad to have a diploma or anything, but so many people spent so much money, so much money, and they don't have anything to show for it in terms of like a career. Wild. When I started the YouTube channel, I was like, shit. <laughs> this takes me four years. Let's say this took me four years to bring it to uh, an income that could sustain me. Maybe it cost me 3,000, 4,000 in equipment four years of my time or and then now I'm doing something I love and getting paid for it and making decent money within four years if you're dedicated you should be doing okay on YouTube if you're in the right niche anyways or I could go to university for four years spend at least 45 50 grand at least probably a lot more and now I'm, uh, I don't know, an, an electrical engineer, and I wire people's homes and stuff. Like, and that's like best case scenario, right? As I said, most people, they get their diploma, and they don't get a job in their field. <laughs> they take you their field because it interests them, but then there's no jobs there, or they can't find the job, or whatever it may be. Wow, we weren't going to get DNF. What? It took me so long to reset it. Yeah, I was just like, man, I'd rather spend four years doing something I enjoy. Doesn't make sense to me. Unless, if you want to be a doctor, go to university, right? My, my sister wants to be a neuroscientist. Which is awesome. She's incredibly smart, obviously. Very, like, yeah, she can do it. So, you're gonna need to go to university for that, right? But if, like, if you don't know what you want to do, you shouldn't go to university. Not yet. Not until you know what you want to do. Not until you have a plan. Racer TGG Kenny, thank you for following. Dr. Noodles, thank you for following. Racer, oh, I, I said both of you already. Both of you, Racer and TGG. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Metal, Metal Scar, thank you for following, bro. That was like a big thing. When I was in university, I'm learning about freaking clouds. I'm taking some course. I don't even know like what jobs come with the course. I'm just I'm just throwing myself in 
as so many other people did, and it was like, made zero sense. Yeah, people, it's stupid. Like, why waste all the time if you feel like I'm going to do is make my mom and dad happy? I feel like college is a big ass bust. Cause I mean, come on, I have no real idea. Yeah, I was doing it because like, yeah, my family expects me to go. It's like how people look at you like, oh, high school's over and you're not in, you're not in university, you're not in college. Like you look like a failure. And that's, it's just true. I look like a failure to all my family for so long. I just recently let them know I'm doing YouTube now. Cause like, I don't want to tell them, oh yeah, like, I'm uh, spending all my time making YouTube videos instead of going to university. I know I had a big football scholarship and I was, you know, really promising and everything, but I'm making YouTube videos. So my whole family probably thought I was a failure too. But at some point, what you want just has to come first, you know? So there's people here. They're not in my, uh, they're not in my convoy, but they're here. Just gonna park with them. You guys wanna meet me over here? Yeah, you just have to have a game plan and so I think people who go in, like, just because, oh, high school's over, it's time to go to university. So stupid. Like, incredibly dumb. <laughs> I mean, it could work out. Shmi is here. That's pretty epic. It could work out, obviously, but it's pretty stupid. I've honestly let that go. I love cars. I want to pursue in my dream. What's your dream? For me, my dream has always been making money on my own terms. From a very, like, I'm very rebellious. I actually was learning about, like, personality types and, uh, like, how I was learning about it because essentially what I was trying to break down is how to develop good habits and how to like work with my being in a way that will help me to accomplish my goals. So it's hard to explain, but I, I ended up learning that I have one of the worst personality types when it comes to like accomplishing goals and stuff like that, which is unfortunate. I, I, I'm doing all right for the worst personality type, but so there's there's four of them. One is the questioner, which means so you, the, one of these might resonate with you guys. So you guys might know what you are based off of this. So one is the questioner, which means let's say I tell you, oh, work out every day. You say I'm not gonna do that. Why why should I do that? Like wh what reason should I do that? And what makes what motivates that person to do it? is they get a ton of information that gives them all the benefits, they have all those benefits in their minds, they know the cons that will happen if they don't do it. So they need to question it, right? They need to really like research and figure everything out and then they can commit and be consistent and accomplish their goal. I think that's like my second strongest trait. I'm definitely a questioner as well. Then there's the, the, um, the upholder, which is just good at everything. You could be like, you need to go to the gym every day. And they're just like, all right, sure. And they just go every day. They can tell themselves, I want to go to the gym every day. And they just go every day. It doesn't matter what it is. There's no problem. They tell themselves they want to do something. They do it, no problem. Um, next is the obliger, which means they're good if someone else is holding them accountable, but they're not good if it's their own goal. So if they say, oh, I want to get in shape. I want to go to the gym. They struggle with that. But if their boss says, Oh, you have to meet these requirements, like you have to sell this much. They're good at doing that. The one I am is the rebel. <laughs> Apparently, because I took like the quiz they give out and everything. Apparently, I'm the rebel, which means you don't listen to yourself. <laughs> so you say, hey, I, I need to go to the gym every day. You don't listen. Someone else tells you, you need to go to the gym every day. You don't listen. <laughs> And an example of a rebel, apparently, is Donald Trump, which I kind of see it. Someone tells him to do something, his instant feeling is, I don't want to do it. That's often how I am. My girlfriend tells me to do something, and I'm like, don't tell me what to do. Like, just let me 
do me, you know? <laughs> and she's not like, she's not super controlling or anything, but that's just how I am. And basically, the only way to try to get around that, it might seem hopeless, is to remind yourself the type of person you want to be, and then what actions. So like for me, I want to be a successful YouTuber, right? Like, I want to be successful at what I'm doing, obviously. I want to make money on my own terms. I want to be in better shape. So I have to remind myself like the type of person I want to be and really have a good, good strong vision of what I'm going after because that makes me want to do the things instead of uh, just rebelling against myself and not doing them, you know? I have to bring myself to want to do them. If I don't want to do stuff, I don't do it. And that's so true. When I, when I found out I was a rebel, I literally started laughing because I was like, screw, like, like, F me, you know? Like, damn. <laughs> yeah, you and me are lazy together. Yeah, rebels could definitely be lazy, but not necessarily. You have to have a strong vision of what you want for your life, and then that'll push you to work hard. Like, no one's going to say Trump doesn't work hard. It's, it's not easy to be the president of the United States. I can see how Rebels' personalities are probably the least likable. <laughs> but he definitely works hard. So it's not like he's lazy just because he's a rebel. It's just he has a strong vision for what he wants. So that, sh that influences what he wants to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's, it's hard. It's hard to focus on that vision, right? It's hard to like imagine yourself in the future with like all the success you want in whatever areas you want in your life. It's not easy to do that. So the rebel is definitely the most difficult one to deal with. Like the obliger, it's as easy as like, if you need to go to the gym every day, find a friend who's already going to the gym every day and have them motivate you to go and you're good. You know, oblige your someone who needs someone else to kind of pressure them, right? It's not that hard to deal with in that case. For a rebel, you almost have to like, like meditate. You almost have to like train yourself mentally to be able to visualize your goals and make them really real. Because if you can't, you can think, oh yeah, I wanna be rich. That's not gonna make you want to work 12 hours a day and like, make you want to like start a business you have to really be able to visualize it and like see it and it's not easy to do i want to play games every day yeah me too that's why i'm doing youtube man that's why i left university but for someone else for someone like an obliger those people it's so easy for them to get stuck in like going to university even though they know it's like not gonna help them you know they're just going to uh meet their parents expectations of them meet society's expectations of them because they're good at meeting the pressure the, the expectations of like outside pressure right but that they might meet it they might even they might even do well in university they might even get a job in that field but maybe they didn't want to do that and they're just not happy at the end of the day, if you're not happy, was it really worth it? Black Manta, Mitch, can you read my donation? Oh, damn, did you send a Streamlabs donation, man? My Streamlabs donations are the ones that don't, uh... Bro, at 2 p.m., a $1 dono. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I have to figure out how to get that to work. It says, hey, man, love your streams about YouTube and the internet. The only thing... I hate in this world is hate. It's a good thing to hate. <laughs> that stupid hate about everything you're trying to do good, like on the internet, and no one's giving a shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I get what you mean, man. The, the internet has like a lot of hate. That's something that just comes with it. When there's no face-to-face -face interaction, everyone is just, everyone's savages. I don't think, I feel like the internet, there's so many great things about the internet. So many great things. One of the bad things is, I feel like it might give us a, like a narcissistic, like negative view of society. When in reality, 
people are a lot more decent and nice than it seems. Like, I don't know, people, people, they might have, they might be a little bit, I don't know, racist as an example. Maybe slightly. But that doesn't mean they're not going to show you respect, like, out in society. I think everyone probably, uh, let's not get into prejudice. I think everyone probably has a tiny bit of prejudice in them. It makes sense for you to feel more comfortable around the ethnicity that you grew up, right? If you're a white guy who grew up with a bunch of white family members, it makes sense that you might gravitate to white people a little bit more. Um, that's, I don't like to think that's racist. I'm just saying, like, everyone's on that scale slightly. So someone who might seem like a Nazi online probably would still show me respect in person. Probably wouldn't do anything in person. Even if they have some thoughts towards me. It's like, the internet makes it really easy for people to be mean, right? In person makes it a lot easier for people to be nice. There's actually a little bit of a pressure to like be nice and be respectful and everything. In the internet, on the internet, it's literally the opposite. I really like that track skin. I love, I love the road, the elevation changes near the end. That was so sick. Mitch, you're doing good. Keep up with skin. Yeah, yeah, that was a good race. I really like that road at the end. That was so cool. Nice, GG. What's up, Koa? But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I just feel like it's people are super nice in person, and then online, yeah, they have a really easy time being mean. 410 million? I'd rather have 3 billion? Of course. <laughs> of course. What's up, Sand P? Bizarre, Bitter, Dragon, Sequenz YT. It's good to have you in here. I didn't uh, say hi to you. I know we've been talking, but I didn't actually say hello. It's my mom's birthday today. Snipes, awesome. Tell her happy birthday from the from the community. <laughs> Acid, can I join? We should be having a lobby reset really soon. Actually, we're gonna have a lobby reset right now, guys, if you guys wanna get in. Mitch, you remember me, what's up, Core? I don't exactly, I'm sorry. Welcome back, it's good to have you. I wish I could say I remembered you. Hey Mitch, invite, I'm gonna be doing a lobby reset right now, guys. You like that track, mate? Come add me and try my rally track MV. Johnny5, I would love to, man. It'd be good. If we can get you in here, we could uh, hand the controls over to you and check it out. Epic Derek 2009 Thank you for following the mixer. Welcome to the community. Really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you all so much. But yeah, I don't know. I like, I like the idea growing up, and I think... School kind of push, pushes this on me a little bit too. Growing up, I had like a negative view of humanity. Terrible things happen. Like people do terrible things. And people seem pretty terrible online. But overall, like I feel like the average human's a pretty decent person. You know? Like all of us watching this, we might not, we might be a little bit selfish, you know? We might. Yeah, it might be a little, like, selfish or, like, maybe a little rude at times. But overall, like, we don't want to hurt anyone. We, like, we don't want to see people suffer. Like, I think overall people are pretty decent. You know? I don't know. I'm definitely selfish. <laughs> but I feel like everyone's, everyone's selfish. There's no... In, in my mind, there's no way to not be selfish. And let me explain. Let's say like, you want your kid to be super successful, right? So you like, really support your kid and you're a great parent and you do everything. Like, you sacrifice your own success in your career, whatever, whatever for your kid. You're doing it because your kid doing well makes you feel happy. You're doing it because your kid doing better than other people's kids makes you feel good about yourself when you're talking to them. They're telling you about, um, yeah, my, 
my kid's so bad, blah, blah, blah. Your kid's doing well, you're feel like, it really always comes down to selfish needs. Even if it just comes down to a feeling, it's always selfish. But it's not really bad. I think selfish is just looked at as a negative word. I everything's selfish. I don't know. I don't see how everything can't be, anything you do, it, it just has to be selfish. Like, it's not bad, yeah, it's not bad to be, yeah, it doesn't mean you're doing something negative, right? Just means your, your self-interests ultimately are always, are always number one. Doesn't matter who it is, someone else's self-interest don't come before yours unless their self-interest have to in order for yours to. Now, you, know, you get what I'm saying? Like, someone, a parent isn't going to be happy if their kid fails at life, like, becomes a drug addict and just suffers. They're not gonna be happy. Their quality of life is going to suffer because their kid suffer, suffers. If they were for some reason going to be happy, regardless, they probably have already abandoned their kid. They're probably just a bad parent. They've already abandoned them. Ultimately, everyone wants to be happy, right? Everyone's actions are to reduce pain in their life and increase pleasure. If I take the garbage out for my girlfriend, it's because I want to get lucky. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But you got the point. <laughs> Ran oh, sorry. Lobby reset. Sorry, I'm just ranting, guys. My bad. I mean, I like ranting. Sometimes that we get into the the rant streams, but I got to get some people in here, man. All right, if you guys want to join, add me as a friend. Send me a message. We'll get you in here. Self-interest isn't bad. It just means I have a mindset on one thing and I stick to it. Might listen, understand, doesn't mean I have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. No, I mean, like my like my brother, for example, was like super passionate about helping me succeed in football. Ultimately, he probably wanted to see me succeed because like he loves football, his football is done. He wants to like watch and enjoy the feelings and emotions that come with seeing his little brother succeed and follow in his footsteps, right? It's not it's not negative at all, but it is always it's always like selfish. All right, send some invites out here. Jeez, the sun is annoying. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I wouldn't want it to go away. <laughs> Leave, son. So annoying. Just get out of here. We don't need you. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Guys, send me a message. I'm sending invites out. I'm going to do my best to try to get new people. Mr. Elusive Spy. Dr. LQ4. Mastiff. Welcome. Sorry about butchering you guys today. Thank you guys for following. Welcome to the community. How old are you? I'm nine years old. I'm 21. Wow, that's an age gap. Epic Derek, good to have you in here. Welcome. I'm going to be 22 soon, guys. Kind of. Uh, two months, two months in a few days. <laughs> Mitch, I Gee, I know, you told me what happened. You know what? You t well, you told the whole chat what happened, so I'll say it, because you're not keeping it private. Um, if a girl left you January 1st... <laughs> It's, it's better that she left you. Like, obviously, she wasn't... That wasn't, like, a good match for you. <laughs> I don't... I, I If she left you on January 1st, she just seems... She just doesn't seem like a great girl to me. Like, it feels like she should have... If she didn't want to be with you, she probably should have left you earlier. I feel like maybe, maybe January 1st, she woke up and she's like, yeah, you know what? Yesterday I wanted to be with him. Today I don't. 
But it seems like she was just kind of being in the relationship for fun. She wasn't like, I don't know. She didn't have that connection that maybe you had with her. That's why you're like hurting. So I know it like sucks. Cause like I've had that. I'm not, I didn't get like dumped on January 1st, but I've had a similar situation which I was telling you about. And I was like, yeah, I was in like a lot of pain for a while, but ultimately once it passes, you'll be like, oh, I'm so glad like that I didn't end up staying with that girl. Because if she dumped you, there, there's probably issues there, you know? She didn't really leave you. Not really what happened. True, true. I don't know exactly what happened. I'm just, I'm just saying, because you're, I don't know, you seem down or whatever. She didn't really, it was both our faults. Okay. New phase hunter. Thank you for following the mixer, bro. Hey, it's no need to be embarrassed. You know what? I probably... Have I been, yeah, I've been dumped twice and I broke up with a girl once. I've only been in four serious relationships. I've been dumped, hey, we all get dumped. Well, most of us anyways, it'd be pretty difficult to go through life without getting dumped. I don't know, you can tell me what I, oh, you, yeah, you tell me in Discord, sure. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, I do understand that the mixed signals get annoying because that's what I hate, like, are interested or not. I might have to leave. True, hey Mitch, don't you dare skip me. What's up, Ate? Welcome, what up, rival racer? Welcome to the stream, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, I feel like a lot of life is like your outlook on situations. I'm trying to, right now, I'm really trying to internalize a different outlook. I feel like on average, most of us will have a little bit of a negative outlook on things that happen. But like, it's really crazy how different some other people's mindsets are. I was just listening to this guy, uh, Nelson, very successful millionaire entrepreneur, making, he makes video content to kind of uh, try to help people like follow his uh, wisdom to success, you know, get, get whatever they want out of life and kind of learn from him. And he's been going through a period recently where he's been really depressed. And I love that he was honest about that because it really uh, opened my mind to something that was really cool. We see, we see these successful people in life and we think they're so much different. Like we see people who are overall pretty fulfilled, pretty happy, have a great life. And we don't know that like pain, like they experience pain all the same and they still have depression. They still have like down moments. So this guy who was just a machine, I watched, he would go through like his daily routine. So you kind of get a feel of what he does and stuff like that. He wakes up, he's running out of bed. He's like, you know, getting a, a brief workout in, getting all his supplements done. Um, and then he like, he's meditating, going to the gym, eating like this healthy diet. He just like has his life you know, perfectly organized, got everything down, super happy, super fulfilled, super smart, just seems like he's he knows everything, right? Then he comes out and he admits he's going through a period where he's really depressed. And it's like, it just reminds you that those people are just like all of us, whether you guys are one of them or you're one, someone like me who's still trying to get over to that more positive outlook on stuff. They're just, they're, they're, they're no different than us. I think everyone should strive to get to that other outlook because that's really where everything I think changes for you. Like if you, for someone like him, if he gets fired from his job, let's say, which he's not, he's not employed by a boss or anything, but just as an example, before his success with his mindset, he gets fired from a job, he looks at it as, you know what, like this, it's an opportunity for me to really go after my dreams or like this is an opportunity for me to I don't he looks at it in a positive light, right? He doesn't see it as something negative where most people including myself would feel like rejected a little bit hurt feel maybe a little bit like a failure You have to like change your outlook on everything that happens to you and then like if someone so if your girlfriend breaks up with you if you look at it as, well, guess like 
that wasn't the right girl for me. And you really internalize that, not just say it, but internalize it, which is where I'm at the point where I say it to myself, but I haven't yet internalized it. I remind myself to try to help myself get through stuff like that, but I haven't internalized it yet. I think once you internalize that, that's really where like, it becomes really easy because who cares? You could go apply for the job, dream job you want, but you don't really have a fear of being rejected because you have that positive outlook on everything that happens to you. It doesn't matter what happens. You see the glass half full side of it. And it really is a whole different way of thinking. Like if you think one way, you're blind to the other way. So you don't even know it's there, right? Your car gets stolen. You don't even know that there is like a way for that situation to be positive. It doesn't even like process. And I'm still like, I have, like I said, I haven't internalized it, but I've been learning from people who are on the other side who process it in that way. And it's really crazy. Like it's really interesting. I think that's like probably the key to just getting what you want out of life, whatever it is. Uh, well, one of, one of the keys anyways. Mitch, read chat. <laughs> What's up, Oily? Welcome. My son is crazy funny, yeah. Cameron is crazy, man. Time has flown by. Did we get a full group in here? We did. Hey. Let me do this now. All right, am I the leader then? I am. Go play Infected quick at the, uh, the rail yard. Yeah, I don't know. This is really cool. You talk about, if you guys have heard of Gary Vaynerchuk, what are you guys saying by the way? One sec, let me, let me check the chat first before I get into my next section of ranting. I've been with my fiance going on seven years this year. That's awesome, King. That's great, good for you, man. You skip many people? Oh, I skip a lot of people. Super Saiyan, sorry, man. Just guys, just put your uh, chat thing back in there. When I start to rant, it's difficult. You know, I can't read and talk. I'm looking, but most of what you guys are saying is just like that I skipped you in the past. Carter and Zombie, thank you guys for following the mixer. Really appreciate the support. Uh, some of you guys might know Gary Vaynerchuk, and if you don't know him, he's someone who resonates a lot with younger people, people in my demographic. So if you guys want to kind of get into, you know, pursuing your goals and um, like if it's something you're interested in, he's really good to listen to. Nelson, the guy who I was talking about earlier, his stuff is a little bit more like spiritual and like, not spiritual in like a religious way, just like, I don't know if it'll appeal to a lot of you. Obviously you guys can check him out too though. I just feel like Gary Vaynerchuk will appeal to a lot of you. Gary Vaynerchuk, he says, like, it's all about gratitude and perspective, right? Being grateful for what you do have that's great in your life currently, because it's really easy. Like, sure, if you can truly be grateful for just, like, the country you live in. Yeah, sure, your car got stolen, your girlfriend broke up with you, but you've never gone a day without eating, right? Like, that's crazy. That's something that we easily take for granted. So focusing on like gratitude um, is a big thing he pushes. And then the other thing is your perspective. Yeah, just your mindset. Your perspective is what I was saying, right? Coming in with a different perspective at your car getting stolen or at your girlfriend dumping you. Seeing that as a positive is really where things start to change for you. And I believe it not because like I've experienced it firsthand, I'm trying to get to that, but because every successful person seems to say the same crap. You know, they, they all have that, that gratitude, the perspective of seeing um, hardships that come at them almost as a positive. And how easy is it to work through something? Imagine you're a YouTuber, your computer breaks, somehow you see that as a positive. How easy is it for you to get back on track, get whatever needs to be fixed, fixed, where someone else might be like, oh man, the world's against me, and they just say, screw it, and they give up, right? That's where the perspective comes in, and when you have that gratitude, 
makes it a lot easier. You almost feel guilty about feeling bad about stuff. Like, I feel like that sometimes. Like, how am I gonna feel bad about stuff when there's like some little kid starving to death somewhere, you know? <laughs> like, damn, I got it pretty damn good. <laughs> It takes a long time to internalize stuff though. That's the big goal. You can learn stuff and it's like nice to hear. It takes so long, it takes so much work and uh, reaffirming it, like learning from more people, learning the same exact thing from more people or from the same person multiple times. You have to keep learning it before your brain says, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll accept this. Like you can know it, but it's so much different when you finally internalize it. It's a really cool, like, shift. Mitch, why do you invite people? That means you can play with you, like, once ever. Sorry, Sam P, I don't know exactly know what you mean. How do you put emojis? Uh, there should be a little emoji button at the bottom of the chat. You're talking about the Mitch emojis. No, I don't think you are. But those you have to be an MVP for. So that's what I'm working on. And imagine like, imagine how happy you would be too. Like don't even forget about all the success you would get out of that mindset. Like imagine how much more happy you would be if when something that appears to be negative happens to you, you genuinely look at it, genuinely look at it as a positive. Like who wouldn't want that mindset? If you could just flip a, a switch and have that, why do you skip over people who message to invite you? Well, if you message me on the chat, it's not going to affect if I invite you. I go to the messages in the, uh, the Xbox application and there I just keep clicking on the top message usually. Just to like keep it simple, keep it fair and make it so it doesn't look like I'm like, you know, choosing one person over someone else. I'll just click on like the most recent message over and over and just invite them. So sorry if you guys, uh, you know, didn't get in. I do my best. Akeem, thank you for following the mixer, man. Thank you all for the likes. Appreciate it. That's the first time, though. What's up, Mitch? What's up, Heel? Welcome, bro. How are you? Welcome back. Just cleaned up dog vomit. Oh, Banana King. Hope your dog feels better. My dog is actually a little bit sick, too. Diarrhea. <laughs> I hope your dog feels better. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. I, I think... We have you in here before? I can't remember. Yo, I need chapstick. My lips chapped. See my clean Lambo, dude? I missed it. Yo, man, sorry I had to go to funeral. Oh, McDo, I'm really sorry to hear, bro. That sucks. Everyone here, please. He is only human like you. <laughs> it's okay. People, people inevitably get frustrated with me. I've accepted that. People want invites. Not everyone can get in. It is what it is. M Mr. Mega Moz. What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Do you, ha do you play on the Xbox wheel? I have a wheel, but I don't play on the wheel. I mean, I want to, but I gotta get better at it. Maybe I'll spend some time next couple nights kind of hang out on the wheel. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll start doing some chill, like, late night streams from time to time. The problem is I want to get videos out, too. That's usually when I put out videos. But it'd be cool to do some chill late night streams where I just practice on the wheel. Like, usually our streams now aren't like this. Like, this stream's a little bit more just chill. Usually our streams are a lot more, uh... Oh, I have to get people. <laughs> a lot more like high energy and crazy and stuff. But maybe I'll do more streams like this on the wheel. That black WX STI looks so nice. Oh damn. 
When's the next vlog? I, I gotta get a vlog out. Yeah, I really want to. I gotta, like, do something interesting, too, though. Like, <laughs> when you make a lot of YouTube content, it's hard to do a lot interesting. I might just do more uh, personal vlogs, and unless I have something come up, like an opportunity. I wanted, I was thinking about actually going to Detroit Auto Show yesterday. I was like, oh, let me look into it. Let me see how much it is. Maybe I'll go. Forgot my passport expired. <laughs> so I'm not going. Uh, but that would have been a cool vlog. Anyways, I'll do more. I've been meaning to do like a New Year's little vlog. Just chatting with you guys about my plans, my goals for 2019, my goals for January. Um, and I know we made a video like that before. And I really like doing that because it, uh, it, it reaffirms it like in myself, helps me to kind of visualize what I want better. And also gives me a little bit more obligation to you guys, you know? You guys know what my goals are. I need to work hard to accomplish them because if I don't, you all see it. So I'm gonna I make another video kind of like that, reviewing what has gone on in 2018 and what I'm hoping for in 2019. I could be tomorrow's video. If it is, we'll probably do a late in the night stream because that video is really easy to make. Yeah, I know not everyone is super interested in all like the uh, the stuff we've been talking about, like with the you know self help and like mindset, all that. But me personally, I'm like so passionate about helping people I don't I I know it's like whatever it might it might just sound like a cocky like oh yeah I'm a great person type of thing but there's something about like helping people who struggled with things that I've struggled with that is just like amazing it's like I know it's like it's it just like it, it fulfills me. There's no other way to put it. It's like brings me ultimate fulfillment. Again, everything's selfish. <laughs> I help you guys or try to help you guys because it makes me feel amazing. <laughs> One guy left. Come on. Ah, oh, yes, someone else got him. GG. What's up, Bizarre? Gone. I went from 10 people to 230. That's not bad. You're sitting all right. Honestly, I would love and I hope I am able to. I want to. I'm very introverted. Like, I've been. I've been improving quite a bit, but I am so introverted. Bro, thank you so much for the 10K sparks. Akko Bach, really appreciate it, man. I would love to go back to my high school and like give a, a talk and like, yeah, just try to help. I got so, it was amazing the support I got at that, at that high school. It actually blows my mind. Like legitimately blows my mind. I, I honestly don't understand like, how I got so lucky sometimes. In terms of, like, I don't know. Just, like, I had, I won't get into details. I had, like, a really shitty upbringing. <laughs> like, I've won awards for how shitty my upbringing was. <laughs> no joke. But somehow there was, like, always something that just supported me enough to make it through, you know? And a big thing were like the people in schools. But I don't understand why teachers liked me so much, but I got so much support from like teachers, not just in my high school, but all schools. But at high school especially, because I, I spent four years at one school, 
when it came to my other schools, I went to like nine different elementary schools. It was like a few months here, a year here, just all over the place. But I spent all, like, I spent five years of high school because you do a victory lap in grade. In, uh, in, if you live in Canada, there's something called a victory lap. And I built, like, such a strong relationship with these teachers and with my coaches. And, like, my junior coach was literally, like, a father to me, basically. So I would love to, like, go there and give back and give a talk. It'd be so cool. Like, going into high school, man, I was in such a bad mental state. I mean, I, my whole childhood, I was, like, on and off, super suicidal. And I say that because I know the difference between, like, having suicidal thoughts and, like, being, like, in that... Well, let me just explain it. It's hard for me to, like, put a label on it, but... Like, a lot of people have suicidal thoughts. It's actually somewhat normal. When you're really down, it's somewhat normal to just want to give up. But there's a difference between having those thoughts and those thoughts, like, bringing you pleasure, almost. Like, that's when you know, like, you're at a dangerous point. When you think about suicide and that brings you relief like just the thought of it because if if the thought of it is bringing you relief then the action in theory is also going to bring you relief and you're very close to actually doing it so i've been at those points a lot as a kid like and when i went to high school the i still i i didn't have like a ton of friends but the relationships with my teachers my coaches that's literally like had the biggest impact on my life oops it was so freaking powerful it's incredible and again i i don't even know i don't even understand it because it was like all these i had teachers who like accepted me basically as their kid like it was, it was crazy and not every student like has that i don't know why i was so lucky to get that but if i didn't like, if I didn't have that, I don't know what would have happened, honestly. I'm the only one left. We gotta survive for a while. Oh, they ain't getting me now. Hell no. Oh, man. Sorry, I missed you. GG. I'll be... I'll be here lurking and listening to the stream for a couple minutes. Gotta get my two-year-old a bath. I don't... If I don't, his mom will be mad. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Imagine a mod in Forza Horizon 4, which fixes... Online service. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh, that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> Discord is a place where you can chat. Uh, it's true. Mike, what's up, bro? I was in the Lambo behind this guy. I swear I was right behind it. Oh, really? <laughs> Shilu, welcome. Mitch, what's the best car to learn do better on Goliath? Um... I would say just go and use the best car right away, probably. Cause I was gonna say like, oh, maybe use something that isn't that good. So it might be, it might not be a bad practice to do like three or four laps in a row or do a bunch of laps with a car like an Aventador SV or yeah, something like that, an Aventador SV would be a good one. And then, once you move to some really good cars, like a uh, like the Mosler 911 pre-order 720PO, it'll be a lot easier from there. And you'll, like, you're not going to push those cars past their limits, because you'll be used to the event or SV. That might be a good way, or just jump right in and use the best cars. 
and get used to their limits, like, might be a good idea too. I don't know. Notre Dame, I don't really know the best way to go about it, but I would just say, yeah, do that. Grab like an Aventador SV, do three laps. If not, just grab the Mosler and start practicing, bro. Ideally without assists, you don't have the patience for it, then, you know. I, I think practicing without assists is good, even if you go back to turning assists on. Like, it really helps you to, like, learn how to maintain control of your car and just kind of, you got to just understand your car better, you know? In certain situations, you just understand how your car is going to react. Even if your stability control is going to take over and save you, you know, maybe the one time it doesn't do the job, you still know what to expect so you can correct it. I think you'll definitely, the harder you make it on yourself, probably the faster you improve. Like, you know, just for me, I would say you can all assists off, hardest difficulty right away. If your goal is to improve at the game, and you'll get better pretty quick. Or at least pick a difficulty that is very difficult for you to come in first place. Like, you should usually not be coming in first place. That would be a good difficulty. But definitely all assists off. Brad Ford Gamer, thank you for following, man. To be honest, I think the Mosler is not the most stable car in the game. No. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely not the most stable car in the game. Did I just start driving away from this after? Read my message, Mitch. Mitch, reminding you to talk after the stream if you forgot. All right, I'll, I'll try not to forget. What's up, monster? Welcome, bro. Backup chicken. Welcome to the stream. Man, I wish I had money to buy Ultimate Edition. Oh, you could get money. You could mow lawns. If it's winter, you could shovel snow. You can do... Oh, here's a good way to make money a lot of people don't consider. Um, going on, like, Craigslist or Facebook. Facebook, like, the shop on Facebook. You can literally get stuff for free and then resell it. <laughs> Did I drive away from it again? Can, can, why am I, what am I doing? This is what, I can't multitask. Damn it. <laughs> Gotti, thank you for following, bro. Joy John, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. You're doing all that. Uh -oh. You can actually make decent money. Buy or like getting for free and then flipping. You can make decent money doing that. If you put some time, if you have some time to put into it. Some solid money. I, uh, I actually was thinking about buying and selling for a while because not even getting for free because if you buy and sell, you can get bigger profit margins. You can make more money. Looking at like phones and stuff. A lot of times you could buy used phones for dirt cheap. What am I missing? Where's, where's Rally at? What the hell is Rally? You can buy some phones for really damn cheap sell them for an, an extra 70 80 dollars you know that's a pretty nice profit margin it's not bad at all where are rally cars oh right here rally monsters is just in by itself that's weird we'll take this out damn pearson thank you for hosting man appreciate it what are you doing, Mitch? I'm setting up an event. Smoke the Dark 94. What's up, bro? Welcome. I'm new to the channel, Joy John. It's good to have you, man. You want to grind 2 million with me for the FXXK? I'm always grinding money, technically. There's race after race, event after event. Amazing tips. Thanks soon. The Ultimate Edition will be mine. No problem, Philip. No problem, man. Just be careful, if you're if you're getting for free and you're flipping, no problem. Just go with someone to be safe, unless you're, you know, a big, strong guy. Just in case, I mean, you're probably fine, right? But like, you're going to see random people constantly, 
There's been bad stories about people getting kidnapped and crap. Aquabok, thank you for the 5k sparks, bro. Really appreciate the support. But other than that, if you're getting stuff for free, you jump right into it. You don't need to know anything. If you're going to buy and sell stuff like phones, then you should do some research, take some time to understand the market, see so you know what's a cheap price, what's an expensive price, where can I sell things for more, and where can I buy them for cheaper, stuff like that. You can make a lot of money. Just I have more fun on YouTube, so I'd rather do this, you know? Stonks' new haircut, what's your opinion on it? It's pretty uh, funny. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, right? It was like a challenge because it would be funny if you put another YouTuber's logo like in his head. So, pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I saw the, the video as soon as it dropped. It's pretty funny. SLPP. What's up, man? Welcome back. How are you, bro? Alexander Anderson. I'm wondering, should I move the webcam like... Maybe I should move the webcam here so that I don't look so far away from the webcam when I'm checking the chat. I don't know. Where do you live? I live in Canada. Hamilton, Ontario, bro. You play Red Dead? No, but it does look like a really great game. When I was taking content, right? Desperate? <laughs> when I was taking uh, a, a little break, from YouTube, kind of during the holidays and everything. I wanted another game that was just completely different. I ended up getting Titanfall 2 because that seemed like the most underpriced game ever, honestly. <laughs> the reviews are amazing on it. Everyone who plays the game loves it, but EA just like screwed up their marketing and everything for it. And the game did not sell well. But yeah, I, I started playing some of that. That was a lot of fun. Oh, God. And you know what else? There's no bugs. I haven't, I haven't found a bug yet. That's actually wild. And, and from all the reviews I was listening to, like two year old reviews on this game, there was barely any bugs at launch. Like they just did a great job. Since when do we get a game that doesn't need a bunch of bug fixes? I mean, Horizon 4, they still need to fix the servers. They still need to fix these servers. Welcome to the community. Oh damn it. I'll have to say welcome after. <laughs> I don't have the screen up that lets me see who it was. Yeah, Titanfall 2 is a fun game. And it, I literally got it for like six dollars. <laughs> and it, it feels like like a, a great triple-A game. Like obviously a very different style. Sure not everyone here is into shooters, but. Made up a lot of ground on that corner. Mitch, check my fuel. Whoa, what's your fuel at? Are you like killing it already? Oh, you're breaking way too much. I watched your money making video. I made 10 mil in an hour. Shouldn't even take you that long unless you had to get skill points first. Then that would make sense. But still, glad that helped, man. Actually, no, 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 you're right. No, 10 mil an hour. I was thinking one mil in an hour. No, 10 mil in an hour is pretty good. Right? Well, what was it? Like two mil in around 15 minutes? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm glad it could help you out, bro. You down, Mitch, or not today? What was it? What were you saying, Smoke? Uh, could you... 
We should start grinding. Oh, we're doing races. Like, you're free to come race with me if you want, man. I'm just gonna do events how I always do, you know? <laughs> Funny fatty, welcome to the stream. Crap, well, I came in 10. True? Yeah, I don't self promote. The Mosler is so fast. Oh my god, his performance is 10 on everything. Yeah, with the right tune, it's 10 on everything. It's crazy. It's wild, man. Nitrous Gaming, I'm really glad that video helped you, man. And, uh, Aiden. I love YouTube vids. Awesome. Come check out the YouTube channel then, Aiden. What's up, Cars Nathan? Alright, add me, send me a message. We might have room right now. Yeah, we do. If you can add me and send me a message quickly, exclamation mark GT if you guys need my gamer tag. How are you, cars? Who was the guy who got banned from the channel last month? Um, Shadow Man, I think. You're the best. Thanks, Joy John. Appreciate it, bro. You know what, guys? Hey, uh... What's his name? Smoke. I know what I just said, <laughs> so I apologize. Guys, I think I'm gonna end the stream soon because a couple reasons. One, I gotta take a dump, all right? That's the biggest reason, straight up. I had to before that race started. So I'm, I gotta, yeah, I, I, let's do one more. <laughs> let's do one more race. And uh, two, because I want to make a video. I want to make that video for you guys for tomorrow. Make sure I can get that out. Get the stream set up for tomorrow. Just get everything done. Trying to get back into a rhythm right now, you know? I'll get back to the six hour streams. But I'm really just trying to get back into a rhythm where this is all routine again. It's so easy to get out of rhythm, you know? Damn it. You know what, guys? I'm gonna end the stream here for reasons I think you can infer. I gotta go. I got this new herbal tea it's supposed to help me with uh, some bowel issues, and uh, it, it's doing something. <laughs> yeah, I'm too honest with you guys. Take it easy. I really appreciate all the support. I'm uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't go longer. I gotta go. Okabok, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Take it easy, everyone.